Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, <laughs> you know, we, we started in English, but my English is not so perfectly, so you must... <laughs> strong listening while I have to talk. So we like to start in this morning uh, with a breed survey and what we are meaning by breed survey and uh, what we are like to do by breed survey for the breed. Number one, the breed survey is not an idea from uh, the SV. The breed survey is coming from our horse program. So, you know, our founder, Stefanitz, he was involved with horses, so he brought this in to the shepherd breed. <laughs> the breed survey is also a selection for the breed, and re secondly, a recommendation for the breed. And the breed survey, we like to say what we like, on one side also we, we don't like on the other side. So we have also a standard. This standard we have to following. For the widow, you know, you know this. We have no inches in Germany, we have centimeters. So the pitches goes on with 55 to 60 and the males from 60 to 65. Allowed is one centimeter over or under, but not for breed survey one, only for two. We have changed our breed survey in the last 10 years. Everybody knows that we have before no hip dysplasia control. This program start, this we started 1966. And in the beginning was allowed to breed with a bitch or without hips broke a stem and the male was allowed by 60 stud service a year for a dog with a stem and only 40 with a dog without a stem but normally you know nobody goes to these dogs to breed with dogs without a stem so we selected and that particular reason natural the dogs out and later on we turn it a little bit more on. We carry the dog out from our breed survey with no A stem. So in the moment now, in Germany, it's not allowed to go to a breed survey with a dog who has no A stem. And on the other side, when the dog has no A stem and a breeder breeds with a dog with no A stem, it's allowed in the last year before you can go to our Sieger with a bitch with Schutzen one and breed survey one, you have a chance to win. But now our new program started 10 years ago. The first year is allowed to go in the adult class with the dog with Schutzen three, two. When you come, like to come back again next year, the dog must have Schutzen three. So normally our dogs now in the adult class, they have all Schutzen three. No, all. All, yeah. Everybody likes to run for VA, so they go and train the dog, you know. And so this was the program from the breed side. And this, in that particular reason, also, now they bring the people back to the training field. You know, this helps them both ways. Before they train the dog very quick, shoots him one, only does he bites very hard, go to the breed survey, up one, finish. But now you have to go back to the training field. So that's why it carries our obedience program more and more up. And in the last year, we have 50,000 dogs in Germany have shot soon last year. And by the DFG, only 19,000. So we have much more shot trials than before. I know by my club, before we have only two a year, and now we have seven. You know, we have now to go and train our dog very hard. And this is, for us in Germany, very, very important. You know why? The German, this, this breed is created in Germany. And we have to keep this dog on the walking side. And we never changed our program. We never come up only to good-looking dogs. 
a good-looking dog must have shoes on. You know, and we never move this so much. Maybe we turn it not a little bit more on on the temperament side. You know, everybody knows that it's easy to learn a dog bite, but it's not too easy to have a dog with an excellent temperament. The dog is born with good temperament. You cannot train a dog by temperament. You know, but biting you can train when you have a good agitator and it, you know, you are involved with Chutsu and this, you know, you know. You need to train him every day, one day he bites. But the head he can never clean up. And you know, he's born with good nerves and character or not. This is the same in people, you know. Somebody is so sound and good in nerve and somebody's nervous, the same is in dogs, you know, but these dogs we don't like in the breed. You know, that's uh, it's very important for us that we have good nerves, good strong temperament. And there's all these particular things we have to control by the breed survey. And I don't know, you have a breed survey before here. Yeah. By the breed survey, there's many reasons to have to control. Number one, when the dog comes in, in Germany. I like to give you a practice in, uh, about what we are doing. Number one, when the dog comes in, they have to go around like on a show, two, three rounds, and then we look the good ones and the not so good ones and the rubbish. But the rubbish, we take direct in, we test the teeth, gun test, we say to the people, this dog, we don't give a breed so away. You know, then it's, the dog is out for life. He has never a chance to come back. The dog will have breed survey. One is a dog who is normally uh, re-rated on the show. You know, you must, for example, medium-sized dog or big dog or small dog with good expression by a male, good head, long neck, high widow, firm back. Good group, good rear angulated, good front under chest, good shoulder, long overarm, correct staying and going, and good movement. And also good in temperament and good in courage test. But for Kirk class two, we allowed no, dogs with a little bit weak in the back, not so good groups and not so good rear. And also we give advice to the people, you know, for well, we have to go with his beach. For what, for what is good for this male. And also we have to take care of the pedigree. You know, uh, we don't like that the dog is too much inbreeding. Okay, maybe two, two, three times inbreeding is not so bad. But also in Germany is not allowed to inbreeding a dog on two, two. We allowed only two, three, or a line breeding you say here. This is you say line breeding. Or two, three, this is the beginning. Two, two or one, two is not allowed. As we give you no papers. And we are thinking when we don't inbreed him so much, it's better for the hardness and fitness and the conditions on the dog. You know, you have examples here in the United States on this length of French line, you know, but everybody mm. knows this. They're inbreeding this line mm. 20 times here, and, and normally the dog, they are physically never a shepherd, you know. Physically okay, mentally. Mentally, yeah. I have seen uh, in New York a nice beach from this line. In the moment where I walked through to her, she was behind the owner and then in the gun test. Maybe when he has her not on the lead, she's still running now. Hmm. You know. <laughs> you know. We don't like that the shepherd bites everybody. You know, but we like when somebody when an owner from a shepherd go on the street, maybe somebody likes to heed him or so, does the dog is for his owner there, you know, and help him a little bit. But we don't like that the dog bites everybody, you know, around. So this is a, what's more? Ah, so 
I started in 1942, I was 10 years old. So I bought my first dog. I don't know what's the bloodline. Ah, it goes back to a very old bloodline from Germany. It was a good, good dog, not a good looking dog, a good uh, Schutzhund. I, take, I was a boy and I take Schutzhund one, two, and three on. And I stopped dogs after the World War II. I have to go in high school and to learn. And then I come back and I, I go back to the Schutzhund people and I have a terrier for a while with Schutzhund three. <laughs> but it was a good dog and I have big problems with this dog, you know, they have always problems with the eyes and you have to, with the candlelight, you have to take the hair away, too much problem, so I buy back a checker. And I was still involved in Schutzhund uh, since 1958, in 58 I started my kennel and I breed. And now, in the moment, I, last year my kennel was 25 years old and I have breed. More than 220 liters. 220 in my life. And I have many nice dogs, and now my, you know, everybody knows that this bloodline for me is 95% in Germany in the moment in the pedigrees. I x rayed my dog beginning 1959. I go to a children's doctor. <laughs> yeah, that, he x rayed my dog. And in the beginning, but the x ray comes from the United States, the hips. You know this Julius Due? You know him? Yeah. He likes to buy a dog in Germany. And he was in a ball with his professor. Charles, maybe nobody know him. Professor Charles was a German emigrant, and he find out on the university in, in California that the dog has hit this place. Yeah. And Julius Due, he likes to buy a dog in Germany, and say before I paid for the dog, I like to X-ray the dog. And this dog was very bad in hips. And the same dog runs in and what for a gem. So do we go to Dr. Funk? This time was our president say, be careful, we have problems, we have problems here in the hips. And Funk say, no, we have no problem. And then they started this AE program, 15 kilometers in the beginning, now 20 kilometers, you know. Funk say, well, we control our dogs on the bicycle 20 kilometers and they, have, they are not retired in this 20 kilometers, so we have no problems. But in this time, we have a children doctor in this way, who was Dr. Sachs. He has this kennel from Hein. And Sachs goes, uh, we have contact with Charles. And Charles, Sachs find the other man who helped him was Rummel. You know, Rummel was a veterinarian doctor. And so uh, they discussed for years. And to say, when we started the program, we have to start it correctly. You know, the SV is not a club who runs in so quick when something has happened, you know. The first, they improved very hard. And then they say, right, we must find first a form, a correct form to improve the hips. You know, uh, then they find this tattoo program. But the, the tattoo program was the base for our hip program. When we have not this tattoo program, so everybody have good hips. You know why? He, he takes the, the best dog. First he goes with the other pedigree to a doctor. You know, he x-ray the dog, say good, then he goes the next time with the rich pedigree. You know, everybody knows. Uh, that's the talk people uh, is a little bit, they're not so dumb. And so we have first this uh, tattoo program, and then they started the official hip program. 
And now, when we are going to Germany, we have one control more. You know, for example, I go in Mannheim to my doctor. So I bring, first I have to bring the pedigree. I put this pedigree on the table. He looks at the tattoo number. Then the doctor comes on the table. He looks in the ear. All right. Then he x-rays the dog. And he ha you have to fill out the form and send together with the picture to the SV. And the SV sent all the picture to Professor Brass in Hanover. This is our head man. For example, when my doctor say the dog has good hips, all right. But important is what Brass say. So, you know, every, many people have a doctor who goes every year and spend much money by this doctor, you know, and so maybe they are not so strict. But Brass, he never knows a name from a dog. The SV send him only, they put the, the tattoo number on, on the, on the picture only, and send this to Brass. So Brass, he never knows where the dog is. And he say yes or no. He say free or not so free and so. And then it's come back to the SV, and the SV they send you a small letter. You have to pay 25 marks, and you have to send the pedigree. And that particular is in Gede then. So only Dr. Brass. Only Dr. Brass. And also, uh, we have, well, let's see how many universities we have. One, two, we have five animal universities in Germany. All these head professors, you know, the director from the university, but this is also allowed. So they can testify also? Yeah. No. You know why a professor from, maybe a Brassic professor from Hanover, and the other one, her name is Miller. This professor Miller, he never sent a picture to Brass. You know, you know, they're on the same level. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the as we also allowed. So when I go to Gießen, maybe this is the next to my house, X-ray my dog, they put direct down, they say, your dog is all right. And then the dog is all right. You know, they put the stamp on, but not the A stamp. It's a little bit different. He, they have a, his own number. Every, we have only five professors who are allowed. But all the other doctors in Germany, they have to send to the SV. So th this is very strict and very correctly by control. And also, this helps the breed and the Schutzhund. So you, normally, you cannot bring a other dog to a Schutzhund field for Schutzhund 1. You have to bring always your pedigree, and then the, the obedience judge or the Schutzhund judge look with the correct dog. And on the show, it's the same. We have to control by the young classes. You know, so in the walls control, you know. I take the dog number five, say your pedigree, please. But in the adult class, male or female, we have to control all these dogs who get re-rated. They have always to bring the pedigrees. We have to control when not. When he has not a pedigree with him, I don't give him the card we rated. I send this card to the SV. So you have to send the paper to the SV. I when my house burned down, the pedigree, yeah, then I write a letter to the SV. They give me a second one. But first, before they give me a second one, they're published in the magazine. So you have to wait two months. You know, they're published to say, this pedigree is stuck, so and so on. It's never here. You see, sometimes you have the German magazine. Yeah. Then you can see on one, one page, you know. Uh, this takes you, you three months to get the new one, sometimes four months. You know, they control this very hard, you know why. The, our pedigree is a document, and the document has to be, to be always together with the dog. With this document, you know, you can go to the court. This is an official document. Maybe I give an example. When you sell the dog, maybe the dog costs $2,000. 
you know, and the new owner give you 1,000. You say, okay, in two months from now, I'll give you the other 1,000. And he never give you the 1,000. You have to give him the pedigree. You know, you cannot hold the pedigree. You must give him the pedigree. The pedigree must always be together with the dog. But for this one thousand dollars, you can go to the court and sue him. But the dog, you must give him the pedigree. You know, you have. To. But the dog is on the left side. The pedigree have to be on the left side. Yeah. You know, you have you have a chance to make a contract. Yeah, but you never, not allowed to hold the pedigree in your hand. In the moment when you have sold the dog, only he pays you one one dollar for the dog. You have to give him the pedigree. It's very important. Is this true for the scorebook and the ratings at different shows as well? For the scorebook, no. We put only one song. You know, we put not on on our breed survey. The dog has 25 times we. You know, they put only on we rated finish. But when I give the dog a breed survey, that's not my job. I have not to find out. And also, I have to look if the dog have shoot him one. But if they have ten times shoot him free, this is only the, in Germany, the head of his job. You know, this is not my job. And also, you have to give him his score book, you have to give him the breed survey papers, all the papers you have to give him, not alone the, the pedigree. So, some question? You, might, you, you mean my, my breed one for my club? Now, the breed one in my club, uh, that's the, der hat also keine beraten, der hat eine beratende, he, beratende und eine kontrollierende Funktion. He gives uh, advice as a, in a controlling function. He, Aber der hat keine, er hat keine ausführende. He's not really official, it's more of giving advice. Yeah. Yeah. For example, when I, when I have a bitch, and I like to go to this male, I have not to tell him, you know, that's not. But in the moment when the puppy is one day old or two days, I have to ring him up and tell him now I have puppies. And he have to come four times or five times. I have to look if my kennel is clean, the puppies are all right, and the mother all right. And when the dog is eight weeks old, I have to fix my papers, you know, for my kennel. First, my kennel name, the father, the mother, the grandfather, the grandmother, both sides. Yeah. Then my address, and then I have to filling out how many puppies, male, female, are born, how many living, how many died, how many I take away, and then I must put the names on. But you can use the name only once in your life. So now I have 220 liters for me oh. in the moment, it's hard to find names. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I have to put all in a book the name I have to, I used before. I have a book with all the names. So when you have, maybe you have 10 times an Ypsilon leader, it's not so easy, or a coup, yeah. it's not so easy, okay? A, B, C, D, there's no problem. But when you go down or set like Zorro and Sanda and so on, you know, it's not so easy to find names. And then you have to put the names on and the color, and by sight, the owner, the new owner, yeah? All the owners, you, then you take on this one, I keep self, self, then the owners from the puppies. And this you send, and also is when you fix the papers, then it comes the tattoo master and your breed warden. 
three person who must be together to tattoo the puppies and have to filling out all these forms and we have to sign all three. Yeah. And also the breed warden, his signature is by the SV. So they control my signature. Yeah. This from the tattoo master they control and from the breed warden. So I was married and this time my wife fixed all the papers and always she signed Walter Martin, you know, my wife, for years. And one day I have signed by myself. <laughs> so the SV sent straight a letter back. That's not the correct thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know how strong they are. They, you know, they control very correctly. And, and so when maybe I, I have an, I change a name, you know, but this name is similar to a name we have before. Mm -hmm. As we change the name and send you a card, we have changed the name from to, you know, not so easy, you know, and I like saying more. And these papers all go to this way. You know, with the breed warden, he get the copy, the tattoo master get the copy, and I get the copy. So the breed warden have to send the copy, so you have to fill out all the litter over a year in the club to our London school breed warden, you know. And the tattoo master, they have to send this all from one year to the SV, so they control again, you know. And I keep this for me, that I know the names and all this, you know. So, do you understand my English? When something is wrong, let me know. I have, have a good go here. Yeah. I, I have a quick question. Do you, are you, re, are you required to go A, B, C, D? Yeah. Be set. Then, and then B yeah. again. Oh. You have 25 liters. You know, then you go up to the top. I must do it. I must do it. Suppose you have a bench, breed survey. The breed surveyor says it is not good to breed much more on such and such a block. You don't think so. And you go ahead and breed it to another block. So you think it's very good. You think he doesn't know enough. Your opinion is better. Mm. You want to try. Mm. What happens then? Is it okay? That's okay. It is okay. That's okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, this is for me a, bit, a little bit too delegated in English. Dass in Deutschland Fehler gemacht werden, das ist ganz klar. Nicht? It's clear that uh, in Germany they've made mistakes. Uh, und ich habe rausgefunden. And he discovered dass wir äh, viele äh, Körmeister haben. That we have many, um, breed surveyors. Ja, die zum Beispiel reinschreiben, wenn da steht, Quando Vinau 3-4. Also Line Rating Quando Vinau 3-4. Dann schreiben die rein, weitere Inzucht ist zu vermeiden. Uh, the breed warden will write down um, the, the line breeding on Quando Vinau, for example. for example. And then he'll say... 3-4. No more line breeding on this bloodline. And for me, it's unbelievable. Yeah. You know why? <laughs> this line in the moment is not clean. It's only three, four line breeding. I never do this in a pedigree, on a breed survey. I say, this is no good. I say, I write down, it's much better when you go one time more. <laughs> You know why? First of all, you have to fix up your correct time. You know, every, you must have something in your brain what you want. I have to carry the Wienau dogs. You know, that's my job. I have to breed these dogs. I have to not to look what my brother doing. He has to take care by himself on the Arminius dogs. You know, and I have not to take care on the Busseger Schloss dog, for example. This is the Busseger Schloss owner job, you know, but first, 
When I have a dog, for example, is condo three, four. Then I have to figure out if he looks like condo. You know? Or he's a phenotype. So when he's a genotype, then it's absolutely normal. Does I bring in a condo dog with a phenotype? Does I get back to this type what I want? At the morning moment where I've been on a line breeding three, four, and the breed warden say, this is no good. Maybe I bring a strange dog in from a strange bloodline. How this works. Then I get puppy. Light, dark, big, small. You know, everybody have first build up a type in breed what I, you like. And this is only goes by inbreeding. Or line breeding. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but in Germany we have also breeds so where they has not involved so much with the breed. You know, and you know, I say everything you have to do by yourself before you have to talk. You know, yeah, to try yourself, and then you have. In the moment when you try by yourself, you have just different opinion. And in my opinion, every breed so I have to have dogs home and have to see the dog every day. You know, when you've seen your dog every day and you clean the shit in your kennel, <laughs> then you have different experience for everything. You know, you see when they're growing up, you know, in two months old, so, four months old, so, and some is overbuilt. You know, last year, for example, I have a leader. It was four males and one female. And this female this was the worst puppy in the litter. The males that look beautiful, all four, but this female was absolutely nothing, only she has a good color. And then I say to my friend, I have this litter by my friend. I say, okay, now we don't sell any puppies here. I keep three males, and you keep one male and the female. You say, no, the female I don't like. You say, yes, the female have to stay with you for six months. Yeah? This bitch is the best in the whole litter. Absolutely the best. There is not one male compared to her. She is now 19 months old. She has certain three of age. And she wins in the moment all the shows in Germany. Every show we are going, we are winning. You know, then you see how a puppy grows up. You know, there is nobody in the world who have the eyes, the perfect eyes for take the pig. You know, I have done in my life many, many mistakes, and it cost me much money. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I buy condo back. I have sold the dog for a puppy. I buy condo back. I give him for a puppy. Condo looks like a teddy bear who was young. Much hair, but not long hair, but much hair. He looks exactly like a teddy bear. So I have to pay much money to... To buy him back. <laughs> Big mistake. Yeah. And maybe I, tomorrow I do, I do mistakes again. Sure. You've had a number of very famous dogs. You talked about them, like Lido and Leonie. Uh, yeah. Also, last year, my kennel was 25 years old. And I have never break to the registration on this show we won, this show and so never. So I send a, a letter to Lux. Say please, my candle now is twenty five years old. Find out for me how many select dog I breed, how many we dogs, only seeker shows. You know, how many Kirklas one, Kirklas two and so on. So in my life I breed 15 select dogs in Germany. Around 180 we on Seeger Show. 345 Kirklas 1, 46 Kirklas 2. And the rest, they go somewhere. <laughs> you know. And my camel, this is very interesting, my, my foundation bitch. I went on a 
lecture like on a seminar, but me talks. There was a bear, a man give a lecture, was, was laid on a very famous man in this week. There was a bitch, she was big, she was 20 months old, shoots some tree, and say this bitch is not a bitch for the breed. She's big, know the world, long legs, weak back, shoot group. And, but I have seen this bitch movement, and she moves so long, you know. And so I go around, and I go to the owner. Tell me what you're doing with this bitch. Say, tell me what I have to do with this bitch, you know. <laughs> These guys say the bitch is nothing. Say, okay, I'd like to buy her. Uh, good, how much? I say 500 German marks. So I take the bitch home. And I breed her first with the dog, the name is Arno Hauschwingen. That comes out Dixie Wiener. Mm -hmm. The name from the bitch was Bertha Lorscher Sand. She was out of Alf Nordfeld. The first lead I breed her with Arno Hauschwingen. Yeah, he was a select dog in Germany. I go down line breeding with the bitch uh, on Axel Deininghauser Heide. This was this Dixie. She produced in her life, I don't know, maybe 60, 70 top dogs. And the next time I go with the bitch to Cesar Malman's Heide, was also a select dog. It comes out Elschwi now, he was there. In the median class, Sieger 61. And then with Dixie, I go to Jarl Fohlenbrunn, that comes out Lido, Lian, and all these top dogs. And then, in the moment I went, at 65 on the Sieger show, I, I win all, <laughs> all. So then I went up, you know. This was the whole story. So this, my foundation bitch was a bitch who was not recommended for the breed. So, also the big people do, mistakes. Just this mistake was my luck. <laughs> yeah. But Lido was a good dog. He producing very well was a very hard dog. But he, he was a very big dog with a big head, but the dog producing no males. No, oh, no, no males. males. Oh. Only nice looking females. And he has a brother. His name was Luno. It was a small dog, only 61 centimeter, but good head, good developed dog, good looking dog. This dog I sold to France. In my opinion, you know, this time Funk was looking only for big dogs. So I was thinking by myself, maybe I have no chance. I sold it to France. And the same year, Funk changed to the smaller dogs. <laughs> <laughs> So my dog was still in French. But this Luno, he destroyed the whole breeding in French. This dog was such such a super producer. You know, he carried, he raised the breed up in French very hard. And on the French Seeger show, when they have these uh, progeny groups, you know, from, from the sire, yeah, sometimes Luna have 120 dogs on the show, you know, and I give the dog before the dog have Shutsu one to friends, but the dog goes Friday, and Saturday my brother like like to bring him for the Shutsu one. The dog was still trained, but the Frenchman say, no, I have to go home, you know. So for me, was not allowed to breed on him. He has not Shutsu one. And the next famous dog I had was Sam, we know. Sam was the name. There's a sister, Sana, Sisi, Siko. Well, this was also top dog, the same. I go back with a daughter from Dixie. A Dixie daughter, I go same to Yalpo. I have the same result. And Sam was a young Hunziger in Germany and Selig. 
and this time I have not so much money, so I sold him. I need a new car. <laughs> I sold him to Spain. And then the Frenchmen go with lunar daughters to Sam. So they go on inbreeding on Dixie. This was also a super result. And then I get quant. Luno. Luno. And then Liane, the mother of Lido, has for maybe three years no puppies. Just a, first, we were 22 months old, just one Lido, then for three years no puppies. And I was not the owner from the beach, so the owner rings me up, says, Tell me what I have to do with the beach. You know, she get, I breed her, but no puppies. And so I said to him, okay, give me the beach for one liter. Maybe I find out what's happened. And I find out that the beach was ready for start on the fifth day. And I go to this hind training book and it comes come down. And this beach, this liana, have still puppies with nine and a half years, always will breed her on the fifth day. And then I have other beach. I breed her on the first day. Yeah, she has a, what we say in Germany, an inside heat. Uh -huh. You know? When I have seen on this beach the first blood drop, then she was ready. And Fax Wiener, our mother, the dog is here in the States, uh, we have to breed her always on the 25th day. No, she stays. She stays ten days more. Then was finished. She bleeding oh, okay. after ten days. Ten days. Ten days. Yeah. And I went on a symposium. You know what you mean with it? Yeah. There was a very famous uh, professor from, a, from one university in Germany, and he gave a report over heat. heat from dogs. And now they find out, I know where I come to this, we, we go always, the, the breeder goes in between 11 and 13 days, puppies. Yeah? There was no problem. But they find out that this with the changing, the heat, this comes from the complete food. Yeah, from the complete food. That's what they said. They improved this for 10 years. Say so it is coming from the complete food. And they say, for the complete food, they use this meat from the animals. Sometimes they are ill and they are full of antibiotic. And this antibiotic is recessive in the food. And that goes indirect. Is it correct, indirect? indirect into the body. I have a beach, just puppies, then nine months no heat. After nine months she comes in heat. I breed her to telcos and sun. On the day she had puppies, she came in heat again. Yeah. I breed her and she has four puppies, two died. And this beach bleeds six weeks after the puppies. So I sent my wife with her to the University of Gießen. And they find out does the beach have in them vagina story. That's why it's vagina. Yeah, also. Body iron thing? Yeah, yeah. In the ovaries, in the tubes? Yeah. Just millions on streptococcus. Oh. And they are recessive. And they kill this, they kill the sperma. Oh. This is the problem. And they have to clean up the beach. We find out in Germany now, before we have to go to start, we have to clean up the beach. 
And right now I clean all my pictures up. I send my wife to Gies into the university. And I clean up the pictures. And in the last two years, I have no problems anymore. I don't know what they're doing. Huh. I no. think I might have been wrong about the eggs and the tubes. It must be before. Yeah, you have to clean up before, you know. When the, look. The vagina. You know, your beach, the inner walls, you know, some beach comes in March, then there's six months later, some in January, six months later, so you have to go, when your beach started to take the hair off, then you have to go, you know, and check the beach. And I find out that this is the best, this, uh, when you go to a normal doctor, they charge you, I don't know, how, many, how much. And the university, they charge you very low money, you know, why they like to learn. So the government, uh, they pay for this university and they learn. And they take much more care than some vet. And they know much more. You know, they have, they have to do with the, the defects every day. But when you go to a normal vet, you know, some is experts on yeah, and so on, you know, but they're not, uh, in, uh, know everything in general, but on the university, I think in my opinion, it's very, very good. And they charge you also very low money. My wife goes five times with a bit. You know how much they charge me? Two dollars. I, I get the bill for two dollars. Five marks, sixty-nine. This time was two dollars. The same time when I go to my wedding in Mannheim, they charge me 600. Hein mm. Königsbruch number one was a fix, Sieben Faulen Son. And this fix, he gave this time very good hips. Yeah. And also, I go inbreeding on Rolf Osnabrigerland, Rolf Rosel, line breeding, Rolf Rosel. Yeah. But this fix he also gave this uh, root. So, yeah, Kando, he cares a little bit the root. The root in Germany comes from Kando over his father, grandfather. You know. But the root was. For us, not so much problem, you know, why the dogs settled down after two years, so they got a little bit better. And also, Dr. Rummel, he liked it a little bit, you know, he liked very firm and dry dogs, you know. He liked a little bit better or so than so, you know, so we don't select it out so strongly. You know, we know that Dr. Rummel likes this dog, so. Yeah, you have, yeah, sometimes you have to breed also what the, the head charge like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. More? This side. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Sie möchte wissen über die zwei Hunde, die hier in den Staaten sind. Fuck von der Wiener Raum und, und der Mantel von der Wiener Raum. Diese beiden Hunde sind hier und die müssen etwas mehr wissen. Was ja, also dieses Mando, you know, he was the Weissieger in Germany. And the dog was, for me, a very good dog, but he was a little bit on the elegant side. You know, was not a so strong male, was very elegant, an excellent mover. But uh, the dog was not so hard. And he failed under me the breed so way. So on the day where he failed under me the breed so way, Heidi Landau <laughs> bought him straight. I don't know if the dog producing very well. I think this fax is much more harder and a better dog. It's more masculine dog, stronger dog, good head, good strong bone, a little bit stretched. You know, the Germans they like a little bit more a compact dog, and the dog was a little bit stretched. Why my brother don't put him in the VA, in the select group, you know, and say the dog is a little bit stretched, but the dog is a very good looking dog, and he, he has good stock in Germany. I know now six males for him, 
very good. And more than 20 females are over there, very good. And by myself in the, in the moment, I look only for, to get the fox daughter into my kennel. You know why? This fox is the only dog in the moment who's producing this excellent front reach with this long reach and good shoulder. The problem of him is a little bit sometimes, uh, so, a little bit. But every dog has. Uh, it's no, not one is perfect. So when you come with a clean bitch, with a clean front, there's no problem. But I like the dog. I, I'm not the owner from the dog, only the breeder. I, I sell, sold the dog with six months to a friend of mine. But I like the dog very much. The dog has much personality and he bites very hard. And the dog is not so, is hard trained, a wife trained the dog and she has not so, she has a hard hand, you know, she, strong woman. And the dog is, for me, the dog is all right. She is also from the mother's side, very good. The mother of him, she has six sisters and brothers, they all breed survey, Kerr class 1A and all foul rate, we rated. And the mother, always she gave very good dogs. So, yeah, many people, you know, they say this is uh, two bloodlines. That's not true. There's only one bloodline. Kando's mother was Liane. Yeah. And Gwanda's grandfather on the mother's side was Lido. So, that's why they walk so good together. You know? Kondo, Kondo was the bigger dog, Kondo, the bigger dog, yeah, higher wider, stronger back, excellent good, <coughs> excellent angulate in the rear, in the front, a little bit long over arm, not so perfect shoulder, Kondo was a little bit lower, the bigger head, behind the wider not so, a little bit weak, the group not so long, but perfect shoulder, and the same types both look, the same color. So this was so easy in Germany, you know. There was the Kondo daughter with the Kondo son, and a Kondo daughter with a Kondo son. So, and this for me also not so good, you know. Now, now I have much congruence, <laughs> you know. The people there, they come straight to to find out that this is a good combination, you know. And so this comes what we have now, 95% in the breed is two dogs. But next year, I think they go out, out the pedigree. You know, now they're now on five, four, five, 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 four, four. Maybe they go out next year. And the new dogs who we are inbreeding in the future, maybe this is some. I was at Duke, Lasso Valley, so Red House back in here. You know, so these dogs, they're coming up now in the pedigree for, for line breeding. May I ask a quick question? In the SV magazine, they publish the dogs that have the disqualifying faults, and many times it's five, five, canto, quanto, yes. el wolf, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and is that only because there are so many of these so bloodlines available? Course. So many, yeah. That they're beginning to show up now, often yeah. in five, five, yeah. fifth generation. Yeah, we have too many, you know, so they have also the most faults, mm -hmm. you see, you know. That's the reason. Yes. In the moment we have, we like to hold up this Margo line over, over years, yes. Always they put Margo sons or grandsons, you know, in the select group. But they give us nothing. The last one is Eros Hambachal. Nice looking dog. Beautiful dog. Hard dog. Nothing. I know one or two medium quality dog from him and maybe he has his, his whole year whole time in Germany 300 stuff you know why when a dog the best looking dog or the best shoots on when the dog has no individual individual potential so he, then he producing nothing this you don't know before you first you have to improve Maybe in the next couple of years, some grand grandson of a Marco, maybe they're coming up. But I'm not sure. And the same is with this Claude Aramid Clause, 
this line is gone. You know, and Moots, Moots is also now, we have only one dog from Moots. You know, this is Yupala farm. And it's very interesting. The mother line of his father, Johnny Reinhardt, the mother is a granddaughter from fellow Stephen Fowler. Oh. And all my dogs, you know, they go over Yalk back to fellow. So then they come here, they come together. This, and for my opinion, why this dog producing good is only, well, on the one side is the fellow line. So on the end, they come back to, in my line. It goes back to fellow. You know, but we have only one son of him, good looking son, this is this Pütz, Ayacho, the Holland, Dutch dog. Yeah. And also this Pütz mother is the Aslan Klemle daughter. <laughs> you know, maybe when the dog producing good, beg your pardon? Yeah, yeah, it's from the, yeah. Maybe when the dog is a good sire, so the Mutz line is still in the breed. But when this pitch is not a good sire, so all of this Mutz line goes more and more and more by side. Absolutely perfect. For me, Mutz was a very good dog. And he producing very good. But the sons, the problem is the son. What yeah. Fellow is the, the, the most important background, you know. But in my opinion, not so much from Guando. You know, Guando, he goes more back to Rolf. Mm -hmm. You know, but this, this interesting thing was, Guando went line breeding 5-5 five, five on Alf Nordfeld. But he never looked like the Alf Nordfeld line. But the Alf Nordfeld line was long bones, you know, very late developed. You know, you know, Alf Nordfeld, what time? 54, 954 in. He went only very good on the show. No, we rated. In 55, he, he get the Sieger. You know why? Dr. Funk, you know, maybe every, Dr. Funk, he was a, the super breeder in Germany. He bred all his, in his life 650 liters. So he has improved the breed a lot. And in this time, we have many, many beaches like you have here, overload in front, you know, and short lakes. This was the Rolf carried this, and Rolf was maybe the best sire we have so far in the breed. This Rolf was not very And then Fung said, we cannot, we must find now a new dog who raised up the lakes. Does we get with a longer legs, better proportion, 55 to 45. And then he put Alf in, and he recommended Alf for Rolf daughters. And this was absolutely 100% correct. So we get to better mm -hmm. develop the proportions from high to length. You know. Yeah, the background that from the mother side was rolled. As you have traveled around the world, what profit are you seeing the German Shepherds in Germany and... In the moment around the world, the main problem is the shoulder. And a little bit the group. There's the two main problems. Worldwide. The shoulder. We have many dogs with good shoulder but we should overarm, so the only, you know. We need a dog for myself. When the look for the shoulder is perfect, so, you know. So when the shoulder is so, they're open, so. 
No, then I go. So when the shoulder is only so, the open only so. When the shoulder is straight, the arm only so. And that's the most important thing. You must know our dog is like a horse. They started from behind, over the back to the front. So when the rear angulation is too deep, then the dog loses too much power. When it's too short, he has too low power. He like a normal angulated dog. And when the back is loose, so he loses over the back too much power. You know, this must be everything everything must come together. And when then the shoulder is not all right, then in front, only then he retired very quick. You know, and in that particular reason, the show, our show system is a part from the obedience. This is not a separate category. This is a part from the obedience. Only the dog who is good constructed, you know, he can go two hours. Mm -hmm. And when he have some faults, you know, in the most important, one of the biggest faults is the feet. When they have flat feet and open feet, they retired very quick. Mm -hmm. 50 years ago, when the army looking for soldiers, first they look on the feet. Yeah. You know why? When somebody has flat feet, they say, no army, back to the mother. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's very important. You know, that a dog has, mostly when a dog has flat feet, then after a while he opens here the elbows. Mm. When he opens here the elbows, then he opens up here the shoulder. The shoulder must be closed. When the shoulder goes wide, and the muscles were hanging on behind the shoulder, they get loose, and the back gets loose. And when such a dog has to move for a while, then he gets loose, and then he comes with the head down to the ground, and the highest point is not the widow's to group. And, and that, that's why in Germany now the Schutzung people looking for a good look, uh, looking dog. You know why? They say they are easy, easier to train, and also they like to have 60 start service a year. You think this Fritz Bühler and all these top, you know, Fritz Bühler, I know him very well, he said to me, I, I looking only for a good looking dog for me, it's the same job to training, you know, and he has 60 start service a year, so he have enough money in the packet, you know. And we have to come together, you know. We have to to put the good things in from the Schutzen into the breed, and from the breed they have to carry the good things into the Schutzen. We are not a separate club, you know. We have to work together. But the DFG in Germany, you know, they are only involved in Schutzen, but they have not. They have no ideas about the breed, and they have not to improve the breed, and have not to control the breed. For these people in this Schutzung club, you know, for it makes no sense of they are missing one tees or two tees, and only they like to have Schutzung. But we have to improve also the breed. And in that particular reason, we have to walk together. There is no, we have to sit together and have to discuss together. And I cannot say correctly in English, but the Köster had ja gesagt, Walter Köster had gesagt. Walter Köster has said, Keine Zucht ohne Leistung. Uh, no breeding without uh, training. Or Und keine Leistung ohne Zucht. And vice versa. And no uh, Leistung, you know, Leistung. Leistung. Okay. And working. Yeah. Und aus dem Grund. And out of this reason. Hab ich damals uh, in Pirmasens, wir zwei Hunde hatten, uh, der erste der Sieger und der hatte keine Papieren und der zweite Sieger hatte auch keine Papieren. Habe ich gesagt, dann hat der Köster das von der Fahne runter zu machen. Oh, he, he had uh, two dogs at one time. They had no papers and they became seekers and he had to. In Pirmasens. Pirmasens, das verstehe ich nicht. No, it's a city, you know, where we have the, the, oh, the oh, Bundesliga. In, in welchem Jahr war das? Oh, three years ago. Three, three years ago? Oh, three or four years. No. Oh, aha, aha. Ich dachte in den Zug. Wie wäre das nein, nein, da haben der, der Bundesliga war ein Hund ah. ohne Pedigree und der zweite Bundesliga. 
Ja, auch Pedigree. Dann habe ich gesagt, dann muss die Worte vom Köster, die müssen von der Fahne weg. Nicht? Dann haben die da nichts mehr zu suchen. Nicht? Dann, dann geht es ja nicht mehr. Keine Zucht ohne Leistung, keine Leistung ohne Zucht. Nämlich, von, wir können die ja nicht verwenden. Ja, yeah, from, from now on, they, they can't do that anymore. They must have the papers and you cannot be, get a dog to be Bundesliga in a Leistung without papers. They have now, they have to have papers. Nicht nur das, auch A-Stempel. A-Stempel. They have to have the A-Stempel. Bundesliga yeah. Prüfung, they cannot ever become a Bundesliga without the right papers and the ace stamp will be required from now on and the, uh, the, the hips must be normal. No, no, no. Right? No, no, no. When have Fritz say we won, ace stamp and all This is the only big problem we have shoulder and groups. The shoulder and the group. Health, health, Gesundheit. You know, I, you know, I come only and show the door on the show. I never visit the kennel and, you know. But you know, the health problem, you know, this was this power virus. Power. Yeah, this we have, but now the power is. Here, we have many dogs, even shepherds who die from torsion. What is this? Torsion, das ist etwas, wenn im Mann ah. man ist verwendet und dann plötzlich stirbt er da. da. Maybe, when you feed complete food, you know this is, this complete food is dry, then you have to keep much water by side. When they eat only this complete food without water, you know, and they come into the stomach, then they build gas. Maybe then they turn. Is it a problem in Yeah, very few, I heard. In my kennel, I have never this disease. Panel, this is in Knochen. The young hunds have schwerst in Beinen and no. geht von einem Bein zum anderen. No, no, no. I have no. <laughs> I have no practicing. I, I never heard about this. That's what happened. Never, never, never. Sie möchte wissen, was soll man uh, den Hund futtern, wenn sie diese Probleme vermeiden möchten? Vitamine? In my kennel. Maybe we, well, I'm living, we have to, I'm living not so high up like here, but we have the same climate, you know, we have raining and then cool and fog and, and hot summer, you know, with high, high humidity, you know, well, well, I'm living in, in the middle is the river, so the, when it's hot on the day and so we have hum, high humidity. I feed in the morning complete food. I have this French food, Royal Canin is the name. Maybe you have better food here. And in the afternoon I feed meat. But the meat I'm cooking. Why I cooking the meat? Before we in Germany we have no these hackworms. With you know now we have also all kinds on worms. We don't have before these worms before there was only the hot climate countries, but now we have it still in Germany, you know why? The people that are traveling more and you know now with the aircraft everything goes so quick and they bring also they brought this in. And my doctor say the best is you cooking the food. You know then they kill all these worms and and also when you feed this cow mouse, you know the that's good meat, you know, from this, the, the muscles from the yeah. cows. Under the lips, they're sitting the fins from these worms. So when you're cooking, you kill. And I warm up my dogs four times a year. But before, we have a, I live, clo I live in close to Heidelberg. In Heidelberg, we have an institute. So I bring a little bit shit, 
I put the name on from the dog, and I put this shit under the microscope, and then they sent me a form, your dog has no worms, or your dog has some worms, then I buy medicine. And when you give medicine to a dog, you must give today and one week later. You know why? The aches, you know, they go, you don't kill the aches, only you kill the worms. But the real worms, the aches, they're living in between five days, they come to living. So you kill these aches one week later. Two times you have to do it. And for me, the Germans, they take not so much care on worms control and also on fleas and something like that. The Germans uh, take not so much care, but by myself, I, I have a big flame in my kennel, you know, the name from the dog and what day we are warming up. And so I take every year a new one on. And what happens? Young puppies, I hang on by side, so I know exactly and also very important is just to give him a shot for hepatitis and all this, you know, you know this, and rabies, and I do every year. Mm-hmm. And back to uh, power wires, in the moment, worldwide, they have not the right medicine for power wires. Not correct. They have, you know, what they use for the cat, but the shepherd or uh, dog is different, constructed. But this is a good business for the pharma industry. So every, every six weeks you see, now we have the best one. I know, but Professor Brass say first takes five years to get, five, six years to get the correct. And then they have to improve for other three years of it's good or bad for the people. This is, I don't know, we have the same here in the United States. In Germany, when maybe they created a new medicine, then they have to improve for three years of this good or bad for the people. Mm-hmm. When they improve after three years, it's all right, then they, they put this in the pharmacy. Much longer. Much longer. Yeah. Female, yeah. Yeah? They're more strong, yeah. yeah. There are many drugs in Europe for 10 years before their last year, and once, once they're brought here, they need another five years before they're approved. Yeah. No, I heard now that's with the, you know, the virus, virus in general, they've changed. You know, we have now other viruses that, that are similar to the power virus. We have now a virus, ah, uh, first I say in German, the, es gibt also Menschen, die Grippe haben, sie wissen ja, was Grippe ist. Yeah, Wenn uh, also die Nase läuft yeah, und so, yeah. was wie heißt das in der Welt? Um, grip, the uh, grip, the flu, yeah. The flu. <laughs> yeah, the flu. <laughs> like people, you know, you have flus now, one day they have the Hong Kong flu and yeah. then they have the Japanese flu, you know, yeah, that's true, you know, and some they have from some other country a flu and so, the same is in virus. You know, this pyro virus, this was brand new. No, we don't have before. And now they have another virus. I, I have a dog, a young puppy, three months ago. First, he never eats. Then he starts to shit. You know, this looks like cement, mm. the shit. And for a puppy, it's very dangerous. You know why? The puppy dries out very quick. And when the puppy dries out very quick, the blood gets big, sick, and kills the heart. So they die. So we have to bring him to the doctor, and the doctor put him on the drop, you know, and put salt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's that the, the water level in the body don't destroy too much. And so I brought this puppy to my doctor, and my wife goes every day and hang him on on the drop so for ten days. But after ten days, he dies. He sent me a bill for around 1,000 German marks, it's 350 worth of bucks. Then I clean up my kennel. 
you know, complete. Three weeks later, the other puppy, the same symptoms. I go with my, I say to my wife, don't go to the doctor. You do the same, the puppy's kaput, and I have to pay other 350. Go to the university. And they find out this was not the power virus. But his stomach was half turned, mm. only half. You know, not what you, I mean, this disease with the turn. Only half. So when he eats, you know, he broke out again, mm. and he shit water. Mm. And they improved this, I don't know what they have done. I keep the puppies three weeks by the uni university. I get the puppy back in super condition. Perfect form, and they charge me only 150 marks. Wow. <laughs> and they say that this vi virus now, we have different kinds of viruses, you know. And before they give the dog medicine, they have to improve what kind of virus the dog have. You know, they have to check the blood and all this. You know, I'm not the doctor, you know, but they tell my wife, you know, we have first to check the blood and maybe three every day for three, four days, and then they find out the right medicine for him, you know. So, what's more? Uh, do they have eye problems in the shepherds? No, no. But we have eye problems, dark and light, yeah. but not the uh, problems, no. What's that, sir? For me, it is not exactly true. You know, in the stand that we say 55 to 60, and when the dog is in between this, the dog is all right. You know, I know many small bitches that were carrying big males. When the, it, more the important is the genes. You know, you have, when you are a breeder, you have to figure out what is the right male for her. Maybe here it's not so easy, you know, you have not so many, but in Germany, you know, it's not much better. We have many, many dogs. So I know many bitches who are small and they carry big, strong males. And other bitches, they're big, they carry small puppies, you know. The size for me is not so important. The construction, the whole picture. You know what, you know what Steph, Stephanie say in his book? It's not important for the breed of is a male big or small, but it's very important that you see his expression by distance. This means by other words, a male have to be a male. When he's small, he have to have big strong bones and good hair. When he's big, he has also to have big bones and big hair. When a male for me is not a male, when he has small bones, you know, and a big head, everything must be uniform. When the bones are so big, the head must be so big. When they have so big bones and a small head, it's not a male. This is, it. This is important for the breed. You know, the expression you have to see by a male by distance. Look, many years ago, we have this Condor toll crunches house. It was 60 centimeter high. The father of Quando. 60 centimeter high, but the dog has so bones, such a head. And he carries his head, you know, and he carries his bones. Also with a small bitch, and never breed in your life. With a big male and a small female. Never. You know, never. You know why? Then the, the, the leader, you have big and small dogs. The best is, a medium-sized bitch with a medium-sized dog or a big dog, you know. But not go so, you know, but they are too much different. When you have a big bitch, breed a big bitch by a big male. A medium-sized bitch by a medium-sized male, but a small bitch by a medium-sized dog. Or a medium-sized bitch by a small male or up to a bigger male. 
but don't go so much. You know, that's never good. And also, don't put it when you have a little bit of light color beach. Always look for a red dog. Re really red dog. You know why? When, when you put a black dog on on the beach, then you, the pup, your puppies get black and white. You know, they get the black saddle and inside everything is white. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and the best is when you have a red beach in it. A red male or a dark pigeon, a dark male. Yeah. What do you think of saber dogs? I like saber dogs. I like. Them. <laughs> I like. Yes, I pre I'm the only breeder at the moment in Germany who breeds saber dogs. Okay. I'm the only one. I don't give anything. Sables, why don't they win? Yeah, we have. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no. The best dog we have now in Germany, this Toro, is now in the States. And now we have other one, we have two now, very good. One was under my brother, number three, the same dog under me, second. And the back was number three, maybe the dog comes in good position on the Seeger show. And I know another other one, it was a nice looking dog. Maybe this dog have a chance to come in the select group, but he failed at the breed survey. So it's also finished. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he bites and run home. <laughs> From Germany? Here. We don't, we don't have heavy, so heavy dogs in Germany. And for my personal opinion, you know, in the moment, I think our dogs is a little bit on the elegant side. In the last two years, on my breed surveys, the medium white was between 33 and 36 kilos. I think we must have now laid on a little bit heavier dog, beginning with 36, go up to 39 and 40 kilo. You know why? In all the breeds, in sheep, in goats, in, in cows, you know, the male animal is much stronger than the female animal. You know, we have, in the moment, we have no problem, you know, while we have so many good, strong bitches, you know. We have, maybe we have many bitches now with a little bit masculine head. You know, this is also a fault when a bitch has them. For the breed, I like very much. But when I'm judging, it's different. You know, a bitch has have, have a feminine head. Not the masculine head, but for the breed it's a little bit different. You know, I like to have a mechanical a bitch with a good head, strong head. But I run, I don't run with this bitch every Sunday to the show. You know, I go one or two times. I get re it and then I put in the kennel. So this is enough. At the moment, I have five in the kennel and three bitches by friends. Five altogether. Five altogether. I have not so many dogs. Somebody in New York say I have 500. <laughs> I, I die when I, I die. I, I hang me up on the next tree when I have five, 500 dogs, my goodness. These are uh, three males, two females? No, I have uh, a six-month-old male. I have a six-month-old female. I have a one-year-old male. I have... Uh, a 19 months old female, and I have a female who is three years old. And I have this ear, the old dog, they're, yes. they're, they're home in the house. They lay down in the bed. How old is he now? Eight and a half. He looks like four. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dog looks great. Can you raise I, 
I socialize my puppies. I have two girls that come in the kennel, you know, and they take the puppies out, but not... After eight weeks, I'll, I keep him four weeks in the kennel, you know. He cannot go to a shopping center with an eight-week-old puppy, you know. When they're growing up a little bit, so my wife takes the chains on and take the two girls in the car and they go to the shopping center. And so we pay, we give them money that they have, and they buy ice or french fries or what they like. So they go there for one hour, then my wife go take them home. And some we take in the house. So when we go in the morning, eight o'clock in the kennel, so we take one puppy home and four o'clock when we go back to the kennel, so we bring him back. I think in my opinion, this is very important. And also when the three, four months, we go to the drainage field, we hang him on, does he see what we are doing? But I don't start training on a dog under 12 months. For me, a dog must have a kindergarten, mm. you know, but I know many dog people in Germany, shoot some people, they start with eight months, and they sit and blood. I don't know if it's correct or not. For me, not. I do this not by myself. I start to play with the sack, yes. So when I bring him to the trainer, he knows a little bit what's going on, and I improve him on the gun test, and I check the teeth and so, you know, that's what I'm doing. And then two times a week we have show training, Germany, you know, like on a show. There's somebody stay in the center, is the judge, so they measure the dog, improve the testicles and the T's, check the T's, and we measure the dog. So when we go to the show, we, have, we test him in the gun. So when we go to the show, our dogs, they know what, you know, when the judge walks through to him, we look, check the T's so they, they know before. This, we, this I do very early. I started with my puppy, you know, you know, I put my hand over his head and so when later on when I go to the show so I have no problem and the judge walks through and check the teeth, you know. That's the Adam T. No, the lady. Okay. <laughs> I sep separate my puppies with eight weeks. For me, it's very important. When you keep two or three puppies in the kennel, then is one is dominated, and that put the other two in the corner, and they never, you know, got strong personality. This is very, very important for me. I never have in my life two dogs in one box. Never. Only one dog in one box. And I have to stay always in front when I'm coming. When I have one dog, when I come to the box and he move in the corner, I give him one week, then they have to leave my kennel. You know, a breeder have not to breed on the heart. Mm. No. They have to select. You know, maybe, okay, somebody, they like his dog, this is okay. But when you like to say, I'm a breeder, then you have to select very strong. And I have no time to feed them. Not, not good dog. Mm -hmm. Trust me, the same time, the same food, like I take, like a, like a good one. Yes. Viva? Shine. Oh, Shoy. Linda, what? Shoy. Oh, yeah. Their temperament, you know, many, many people in the world are thinking temperament is thus. This is no temperament. Temperament is a dog like him. You know, this dog has excellent temperament. He lay down here, you know, the whole morning he take not care on anything. You know, I watched this dog yesterday. He comes out the car, he runs around, he looks to me. You know, this is what we are meaning by temperament. When I walk through to a dog, you know, 
then he have not to move. He have to stay, you know why? When I do him absolutely nothing, but when I do so to a dog, you know, it's different. Then I, I do something and the doctor have to react me. You know, maybe sometimes in Germany I have my judge book when a dog comes. And I do so, yeah, say this is all right. You know why? I have done something, but when I do nothing, only I walk through and your dog is here and I say good morning and I put my hand on the dog and yeah, say it's not all right. This dog is for me sharp, sharp. Yeah. The dog have absolutely to stay quiet. Yes, there's one thing, maybe then, or you give him a command. It's different. You know, I cannot say correctly in English. Wenn ich so mache, dann versetze ich den Hund in Reizlage. Then he, he um, brings the dog into a different condition where he's supposed to react. The German word is Reizlage. You know, uh, when Reiz I do nothing, Reizen is Hetzen. Yeah, so, you know. But when I do nothing, only I say, good morning, I touch the dog. Then he have not to bite me. You know why? I have done absolutely nothing. And the most important thing, you have to socialize your dog. You know, in Germany, for example, we go to our training field and we stay in one line. 20 dogs. So then we have somebody that give command. They say, no, all, all together, front, mm -hmm. stop, let your dog sit. Turn, go this way, and then we split out the line, then we go in and out with our dogs. Mm -hmm. So come back, and then there's somebody saying out, come through to me with your dog, three, four person, go into the group, let your dog sit, touch the dog. When you do this several times, then the dog knows that's nothing happening. You know, I think this is very important. Also, these dogs, they're always together, each other, then they never like to bite to other dogs, you know, they know this is something is around this. It's no problem, you know, it's okay. And also, you have to bring the dogs in the city. I don't know, it's allowed here to bring the dog in the city. No? no? Yeah, on the street, there's enough, so many people on the street, you know. And so we, sometimes we go into the city and with our dogs and, you know, this is good experience for the dog. A dog only knows what you will learn. Everything what you don't learn, the dog, he never knows. The same is when you put the dog, for example, in the kennel, six months or ten months. And then, beginning with 10 months, you put him the chain on, he lays down. <laughs> yes, you have to do everything early. Or you bring a dog, with, maybe you living far back down in the country, then you bring your dog into the city, and you go on a very crowded intersection. You put your dog there, he is completely shy, the dog. You know why? He has never seen the same as when you have a child. Put the child up in the mountains for 10 years, then you go here, downtown Denver. He runs straight into a car. Straight. You know why? He has never seen. But when they're always in the car and you go, when you go shopping, you take your child, and they, they know what's going on. They never run into a car. The same as the dogs. We have to socialize them all the time. Yeah, the nerves. The nerve is, this is a very interesting part on a dog. Nerves. You can never train nerves. You can train nerves, yes, for a while. You know, it's the same as in gun, in gun. You can train your dog, you know, when you go to a show maybe before they start the gun. You cross the dog, touch his head. You go straight over out the ring and you turn. And then when the dog looks to you and you 
you know. So the dog only looks in your direction. And by the gunfire, he only looks to you. But in the next ring is the females. I went there, test the dog by the gun. <laughs> then you have, no, you have no influence on your dog. <laughs> and then he fails. You know, I think the gun test is the best test for nerves. But we, we have different kinds. Some dogs, they run straight out. You know, they get so that destroyed, you know, they like to run away. But some dogs only they go a little bit down, you know, that chest a little bit. Then we have other kind of dogs. They bark. And this dog that bark, for me, is also not 100%. You know why? Then he reacts with the gun. Our dogs have to stay quiet with no reaction. None? None. 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 That's the rules say. The rules come not for me. That the rules say in Germany, it heißt Schuss, in German it heißt Schuss gleichgültig. Um, doesn't pay attention. Yeah, indifferent. Yeah. What, what's the name? Indifferent. Indifferent, yeah. Schuss, the name is German, Schuss gleichgültig. Indifferent. Is the English? Indifference to sh yeah. shot. But, yeah, when the bark is reacting, you know. Es ist normal, es ist normal beim Leuten, wenn sowas passiert, beim Schuss, man, man reagiert. Ist das nicht normal für einen Hund, auch no. so zu Nein. machen? Nein, 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 no, nein, no. no. The dog is not 100%, the dog is not 100% by nerve control. You know, look, when I am judge a show, so I have 25 dogs in the ring, and 24 they stay quiet and one barks, then is something not all right. I have some shows that are 25, there is not one dog. And some shows there is one that barks. And their dog is not 100% by nerve control. You must remember that if the dog is in the ring, that means he has been trained also for the gun. So yeah. even if when he's in the ring, he's still not very good. That means something is wrong. The others have been trained. So no. So that's the reason. Yeah, you, yeah, you can train a dog that's here to react with a gun. You know, the, yes, the German, the German, when they have a gun-shy dog, they learn the dog to react to the gun. You know, when you have a gun-shy dog, then the best is you learn him to react to the gun. And the best is with the sleeve. You know, with the arm. Yes. You know, he goes, he go there, and you know, in the moment when like, he hangs on the arm, bang. bang. And then he opened the mouth. You go again, and after a while, you know, he reacted the gun. I know it. I know a select bitch from Germany. I know she was absolutely gun shy, but they have trained this bitch. But this bitch, ninety percent. Uh, puppies, gun shy. Oh. There's, you know, you can just put a little bit, just the judge knows, cannot see it. But when you breathe, one day, this comes out. Have you seen dogs that are easily trained to be not gun shy? They are okay, they have no problem. But when it thunders, then they don't like that. Yeah, yeah, when it's Thunderstorm, some yeah. dogs, they don't like it, yeah. And also, also, I know, I have many pictures in my kennel. When they come in close to season, they're more sensitive and it's better when you don't go to a show or to a Schutzhund or to a Breedsovay. There are some, not all, but some. I have, I have one in my kennel. All the time when the bitch comes in season, she likes to go out the kennel. She runs through to the door, you know. 
Only for two, three weeks. Okay, but this speech for me, she was absolutely excellent in temperament. But only it's happened in between these three weeks, then she get a little bit... For what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the age, you know, this different. Some, uh, the name in German is when they're in the pubertät. Yeah. Yeah. Some, they're, they're beginning with 10 months, and some are with 14 months. You know? We have. I know this, there's still uh, males that are different than females, you know, and females, they are in the constitution, they are harder than a male, you know, the women, they are also much harder than a man, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's well white, you know, that's, that's correct, yeah. Oh. And also some bitches, when they come in the first heat, you know, when this heat is over, then there's no problem anymore. No, 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 no. Our show dogs there must be the same. You know, look, in Germany, when you go to the Sieger, you know, in this big stadium in Frankfurt, you know, these walls, 30,000 people around, the noise. And the gun test. Last year, my brother shot the dog out. The dog was 25 times on the show. You know, and I saw he was 25 times on the gun test, and then he has shooting free and training maybe a hundred times. The dog was still on the gun test in Frankfurt in the soccer stadium. You know, his high walls, the gun, and then the echo, boom, boom, the dog. Hmm. You know, the Schutzen and the other dogs they have to be the same. You have no chance. When you have not a dog, a sound dog. The same is when you have a very famous dog. So, when they come for, for stud, all the times are five people that come in. <laughs> you know, and they look around your dog. And when they only do with their eyes, so as they go home, say, you have seen me with one eye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, but yeah, <laughs> he said, von den Hunden wird mehr verlangt wie von den Menschen. Das war etwas zu schnell. Sag, von den Hunden wird mehr verlangt wie von den Menschen. Oh, from the dogs is more uh, demanded than from people. Yeah. The same is, look, maybe you go home by night. Yeah, it's dark at night. So you go home, and you walk on the street, and then in a, in a dark corner stays somebody. And the moment when you see him, you jump up so high. <laughs> this is this true or not? Maybe you have in your mind different ideas and this guy stay in the dark corner. You, you jump up so high. For a dog, it's not allowed. No, it's not allowed for a dog. The dog have to look and to go. And that's, in my opinion, you know, this is not okay. Some dogs, we allowed a little bit when he, you know, they are not machines. Yeah. You know, where you turn on, chup, chup, chup. The same is, that's I like to say also, in Schutzhund training. You know, number one, I, when I'm a breeder, I never can breed a Schutzhund dog, or a police dog, or a blind dog, or a narcotic dog. I can only breed a puppy who have the genes for this. And when this puppy comes in a special hand, so they find out these genes and they develop the dog, the, this dog correctly. 
You know, when a dog has shoots and three, maybe 290 points, and somebody rings me up and says, I like to have studs with your male, but let me know how many points your dog have in shoots and three. I say, you like to breed on points? Then you must go to the trainer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, the dog, he never carries the 290 points. He carries only the Anlage dazu, wie heißt Anlage thing? Uh, the, the capability yeah. for this. Yeah, I'll never the point. Uh, look, many dogs from Germany comes over here, high rated, 295 points, 10 times, and here in the States they get only 250. It's the same dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know a dog in Germany, the name was Sable Dog, Boris Drogenbach. He went two times on the Bundesliga, the dog. He wins many, many shoots and trials. And these trophy trials, you know. And with this old first owner, always he get 292, 295, but the dog has one problem. On the long distance carriage test, when he gives the command out, he out and sit. In the moment, for the agitator only do so or so, he comes straight. And so on the seagull, he gets always the points, you know, so a little bit down, so it goes back on the line. So he sold the dog to my area, to a man who likes to have the best shoots on dog. And in my landscape, we have all the qualifications for the Bundesliga. The dog wins not one. Always he has only 245 points with the people, 240, 55. <laughs> he never came to the Bundesliga again. The same dog. You know, that's the problem. It's not the problem from the dog, it's the problem. You have to walk together, you have to be one team. You know, and the team is okay, the dog is okay. But when, when one part go to the other side, it's never the same. And also, you know, in a beat, in Schutzhund, when you train a dog, that every dog is the same. You have to learn when you have now Esho, you know, Esho is one dog, and then the next dog you have Arno, it's a different dog. You cannot train him the same way. You know, you have to figure out by yourself what is good for the dog, or which way you have to go with him. You know, when every dog is the same to train, so everybody's a trainer, mm -hmm. you know. And in Germany, this is in the SV, they have to be there for everybody. You know, we have 10 top breeders and 10 top trainers. So the SV never can look only for these 20 people. You know, we have to take care of everybody in the club. And we have also trainers, you know, that train only one dog in his life. And this is the same member than I am. You know, I have not a higher status, but I am the Walter Martin or the, or the Fritz Bieler. Maybe sometimes, okay, this is a little politician. When I go to the show and an unarmed man bring a, a dog, they're similar to mine, so I am win. And he got second. The same is with Bieler, you know. Maybe he goes into a trail, he has 105 points. <laughs> you know, and the other, his dog is the same, he has only 100. Yeah, all right. And we have also done more than these people. More. Wenn Sie zupfen werden, ja. die uh, Pedigree steht hier vor, schauen Sie hinter den vierten Generation zurück zu den, diesen Hunden, ob sie gut sind oder wie weit entfernt uh, studieren Sie die Hunde? Na, no, behind there. There is no big influence. Five is the last. The best influence you have on three. You know, that's the best. Three, three. So three, three, four, so just the best influence. But the best influence, you know, but we have one, two, two. <laughs> Very close. Would you like to 
yeah, sometimes, you know, be, you know, before we have a rule by the SV in breeding. This rule say, very good breeder, very good breeder, we are allowed in breeding two two. But so the very good breeder have done, you know, look at uh, his uh, Gwando mother was inbreeding 2-2 two, two on Dixie Vino, you know. And then, after a while, so all the breeder find out, you know, this is an easy way. So everybody started to go on on this. And when you do it inbreeding close, you have to select very hard. Maybe when the litter is no good, you have to take away the whole litter. But when it's only one good, then you have a top dog. Mm -hmm. You know why? He's a uh, well, English. Prepotent. He's he's a, a rhyme in fluid. He's, uh, he's clean in, in uh, the blood. In blood. You know. He's Less clean in. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not God. <laughs> you know. And then they stop this. You know. And I think in my opinion it's better. You know, in French they have. French they have done the same what they have done here with Lenzo Francio and French they have done this with Candovino. They have a president, his name was Monsieur Lee. He allowed not other dog than Canto in France. So on the French Sega maybe they have a select group with fifteen dogs, these fifteen was all Canto. But what they have now, they have one type of a whole French. Only one type. There is no, they have no dark dog, only black bread, black bread. There is no other dog in whole bread. When you come to a show, they're very similar. But they have now big problems in temperament. You know why normally they have no shutsu degrees for years, and they're, they're inbreeding so strong on this one dog. You know that they breed sons, kind of sons and daughters together. And these sons from one side and this daughter from the other side, again together. Yes, but they have good-looking dog. But for me, in France, when you walk through, oh, big problems. I judged two months ago in, in Milhouse in France. I take more than 20 dogs out. More than 20. So I have a dog in front, one of the best looking dog I have ever seen in my life. I put him in front only for two rounds. And then when you know when they go in the ring, so I move when he comes here the dog, here and here, and I stay here. So when he comes this way, I move very slowly over there. And in the moment he, when he have to go the, into the corner, I stay close to him and jump, he was out. <laughs> They have done absolutely nothing, only <laughs> I stayed there. You know why? Maybe it was the first person in his life to stay here. Uh -huh. And he reacted me direct. He rub. Then I say, come in. Take him. Last place. Wochen alt sind, wenn Sie gut anschauen. Äh, suchen Sie nach etwas anderes oder was, was ist zum Sehen, das gut ist? Ja, yeah. bei Puppies, you see the color, you know. And then by the males, I look when they have good hair, the many wrinkles here, around the head, you know. That's later on, the dog get the good hair. And also, you can see on the puppy of the front is correct, and are the fees, feet. They're round and high. That's it. And up there, the rear undulation is normal. But you never see you. the group is good enough or not. This is, you know, and you see a little bit the movement. Yeah. When you look, when it goes over the ground, you see a little bit. That's it. Only have dark eyes. And also, this is okay, you know. Oops. The bite. The bite. Das 
die Fehler um, um, beim acht Wochen alt zu sehen ist und dann vielleicht später uh, der Hund wächst und diese Fehler sind nicht zu sehen, aber später kommen sie dann wieder. Ich weiß nicht, was man am acht Wochen alt in welchem ja. Groß sehen kann. Ja, yeah, it's difficult to, to see anything at eight weeks, he thinks. That, um, the best age, the six. best age in my opinion, to see the falls is six months. Yeah, when later on, the dog, he looks absolutely for three months no good. You know, then he grows up front, back, he has no anger. And that's the time, that's a good time to buy a dog. <laughs> yes, when you know the dog before six months. Uh -huh. Yes, and you go back again with nine, and you see the dog with nine months. You know, that's the time that the people would don't know exactly you. The shepherd sell the dog. Mm. Nine months of age is very bad. And in my kennel, I look not one dog when it's between seven and ten months. Yeah. I don't it's look. Yeah. No. <laughs> I have a dog whose name was Lido uh, Isovino. My wife, all the time, she complains to me, sell the dog, the dog is no good. And, I said, no, the dog is still here and the kennel was one year old. With 14 months, the dog was the second seagull in Germany, the young blood. You know, he was good looking six months, then he takes the other six months. Only good color, yes. <laughs> and straight front. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you look at anything about temperament at eight weeks again? Yeah, a little bit, you know, when I have a puppy, uh, we run in the corner when I'm coming, you know, maybe, you have puppies that come very quick to you, and some, they're a little bit reserved, but this dog must not be the bad ones, you know, but this changed, there were some, you know, when they're running in the corner, different, <laughs> it was a good experience, one day I sell a puppy to a, fellow from Switzerland. So he came into my kennel. I said, okay, I, I don't keep a puppy from this litter, so he can put out, pick the best puppy. You know what this guy has done? He has balloons. So he blew up six balloons. Yes. And then, he, first he have all these six balloons on the table, then he put the balloons down to the puppies, they go and bite. And they <laughs> You know, there was not one was running on it. They're interesting. They come back and look, you know. I have never seen them. I've seen many years ago, small young lions. Somebody was playing with Yeah? With a balloon? Yes. Many years ago. But the Swiss, they have such a heart. Do you have more copies of what you want to keep? No, no, I, when I pick my puppies, you know, I say, okay, this, this is mine, and the other four you have to look on. You know, eight weeks, yeah. When I'm not sure, you know, this one is better, or this, or then I take two. When I'm not sure, then I take three. You know, puppies is, in, you know, in between four weeks, they change so much, you know. You know, some puppies, they're looking outstanding. But you have no guarantee of this will be in the future the best dog, you know. And in my opinion, in Germany now, they have no time to wait. You know, a dog in Germany in the moment, they must be perfect in 12 months. You know, this has to do, the world is changing, you know. Before, the people have much more time to wait and the dog's growing up. And for me, a dog, a good-looking dog, is finished not before four years. And it's also important for a male that he's the well correct, that he have stud. You know, when a dog has no stud, a male, he developed not so the same way like uh, the other dogs doing still was good in the, to have stud, you know, this, get more men, quicker men, you know.
The same is with bitches, you know, when you have an elegant bitch, the best is you breed her in Germany, so it's allowed to breed a bitch after 20 months. So when I like to go in the adult class with the bitch, you know, so I breed her with 20 months. The next heat, I don't breed her, then go to the Sega, and then I stop the career, put her in the kennel, then I breed twice a year. And also sometimes the dog stopped alone, so sometimes the bitch has one time no puppies. And it's absolutely no problem when the bitch have two times a year puppies. You know, we have such good food and we take so much care and, you know, we bring her after the puppies in very good health and form again. You know, there's no problem when a bitch have two times puppy. Okay. And also I figure out that's puppy. Females, when they're very young, young, they have maybe ten puppies the first litter, the second time nine puppies, the third time ten puppies again. Then they go quick down, very quick down, only to three, four. You know, they empty up very early. You know, when you have a bitch, we always have four or five puppies, so she has long time puppies, you know, over five, six, seven years. This I figure out over long years, that some bitch have 13, 14, you know, then they go very quick down. I'll give you an example. I went on a breed survey, and it was a beautiful bitch, and I like her very much. The name from her was Jule Murrenhülle. And after the breed survey, I talked to this man, said it's possible that I can lease the bitch for one liter. He said yes. And this bitch has two liters before, and in the first two liters she has 21 puppies. I breed this bitch with Kando now, and she has nine, do nine puppies in Kando, so we find the second mother, so we keep. All nine were still living. This was an excellent litter. All nine were Schutzhundri, Friedsowait, we. You know, excellent litter. This one was the mother from uh, my ear. And after this litter, the man rings me up and he say, Mr. Martin, would you like to buy her? I say, yes, I'd like to buy her. How much? He say, 5,000 German marks. This was not so much. He say, before I like to buy her, let me know once, how many puppies she has in her whole life? He say, the bitch have all together 30 puppies. I say, I'm sorry, I didn't buy her. And then he sold the bitch to other men you know how many puppies this bitch have still in her life more? Four. Only four in her whole life later on. You, know, you must know, in a, a bitch, when she's very good brood bitch, over her whole breeding life, she has not more than 50 puppies. And that's why a bitch never have a chance to destroy the breed. This, for, for the, to destroying the breed is a male much more, have much more influence. You know why he, in his first five breedings, may, maybe he carries 50 puppies, you know. Also that's why a bitch would not influence the breed positively as much as a male. Yeah, some bitches that influence the the breed positive, you know. You know, in, in a breed, when you're following maybe the shepherd breed, you know, maybe in the whole 85 years, we have not more than 100 super producing bitches. So some bitches that can absolutely, absolutely, you know, carry on high up the breed. In that same period of time, how many super producing males? Oh, how many we have? Let's see. The first one I know was this uh, Clodo Boxberg. You know, then after Clodo Boxberg comes this uh, Utzhaus shooting. This was uh, 1935. He goes here to the States. Utz, he came here. The dog has in his whole life, in Germany, only 34 breedings. And he brings to the Germans 
the modern dog, you know, he carries out these older heading dogs. You know, he he brings this new time, what we have now. This was the founder from the new time. And after the World War II, we have these two, this Rolf was Nabrugalan, and this Axel Daimhauser Heide, you know. And then later on, we have this Condor, this Mutz, this Quando. And still in the moment, we have not one who is so dominated in the breed. We have several dogs who are producing very well, but not one who is so dominated in the breed like. Mm-hmm. No, this has many times, you know why. Look, this goes always back to the natural genes. You know, when you have, you cannot have 10 years every year a super, super, super producer. You know, this goes back to the natural genes, you know. Maybe in the next five years we get a new one. You know, the other one will raise up the breed again. But I guarantee you, he comes only from this line. He's not coming from other line. You know, this dog what we have in the moment, they're producing all, um, Argus and all these dogs very well. But there is not one dog in the mo- still in the moment in Germany who is have a dominated son. This Argo has no dominated son. This, this uh, Lasso is not one. This Retzer Hausbeck, not one, still not one. And this Irk, he has foxes here now in the States. <laughs> you know? Maybe some of these grandsons, some, you know, they raised the breed up again. Who was, who was the father of Müller von der Wohlenhutter? Jupp. Jupp Wohlenhutter? Who was the mother? The mother line. Oh, she goes, I think she goes back over this uh, Herr Lauerhof. You for the third or third. Yeah. Was there disapproval when uh, <coughs> Fox left the country? Is there pressure on some men not to sell their dogs? No, but the owner don't like to sell the dog. And I say now the dog was two years on the Sega. The first year he was, we won the second, we two now. They have not a chance to go in the select classes, better you sell it. Oh, there's no chance. Uh, I don't know, maybe he has a chance this year, but in my opinion, there's no chance. So I say it's better now if you sell him. He was around four and a half years old. And he has enough so on, sons and daughter. Maybe one son of him comes in the select. You know. Well, you're going to ask the question, though, would there be pressure from the SP sometimes? Somebody has a very good dog, and uh, price is right, so they sell them? No, the SV has, no, right? no, has no influence. They have no influence. Yes, but you know what the, the judge, the judge who judge the Seeger show, you know, they say, okay, when he gave a dog select, you know, they say, all right, keep the dog for one year or two years in the, in the breed. You know, and when we see does he producing good, then okay, sell him. You know, but our doctor Funk many years ago he say, for everybody is allowed to sell the dog. We are so strong in the breed we get new ones. Yeah. <laughs> you know. What what was the the? Uh... No, you, 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 you. No, don't see. Okay. Um, what was the? Uh, litter letter for the uh, litter of nine puppies from Eula. What was what were the names of those puppies? The name was D. Oh, the D litter. Yeah, there was one bitch. The name was Daphne. She went. She go to Italy. She went to the Italian Sega show. There was the other bitch. The name was Terry. She went to the French Sega show. And two bitches they go to Norway. I one go to Finland. They win also these competitions. And one goes uh, Scandinavian winner in, and I keep Dina, the mother of Irk. She was a V-rated bitch, and then was a male. His name was Danvina. He goes to Norway, and he destroyed the whole breed in Scandinavia. You mean destroyed or influenced? 
in the influence or <laughs> yeah yeah the story yeah 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 no he influenced this breed so but much. what you mean is that now in, in Norway there are only dogs for him so the breed is in a bad position yes now that in the moment in Norway when you come to Norway and Sweden always the first ten nine is there from Dan but they have, now they get uh, they have some two three new males but that's a problem yeah, yeah but every they every dog comes from the same bloodline yeah but they have imported now two, three new males. What was the best litter you ever had? Mine. Hmm. <laughs> I have many. <laughs> but I think this, the highest influence was this ill litter, you know, Lido. Lido yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have the most influence on the breed. You know. The last time I've seen you, in your opinion, who was the greatest seeker? The greatest seeker for me Hmm. Hmm. That was the greatest seeker for me. In producing what I like. I like very much Kondor Hohenstamm. Yeah. And the dog for me, from all the seagulls, maybe has the most influence on the breed. I like also the Seagas 1950. Alf I like. Anno House Gersi I like. Was a super dog for me, for Sieger was this Hart Stüberschach. Hart Stüberschach. She was, yeah, well, this was far behind. Yeah. Hart Stüberschach. But he is producing. Most when I have our Seeger that produces it's good, you know. Why was, why, why was Heiko von Arani and Nanto picked as Seeger and why did he disappear so quickly? This is a question you must get to Dr. Roma, yeah. not to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I charged with Rommel together on a show and there was Heiko on the show and he gave him the last place. Huh. And one year later he gave him the Seeger. But this, this dog was a, oh, the American liked this dog. He was a typical American dog, you know, but in the breed. The only dog he breeds was the mother of, of this Argus, Argus and Aslan Klemble, you know. Do you know, yeah, has Argus produced well? Good. No, one line of dogs coming from this. Yeah. Dog. yeah. Just one little line of dogs. Yeah. But this, you must know this, uh... Argus Klemmler is the father of Argus Adu, yeah? Argus Klemmler, yeah. But you must know the, the mother, you know about this, this Sissi Vina, and she has this, the brother was Sam, and the other select bitch, the Sam was select, and the sister Sana was select, you know. I think the mother have a little bit more influence. Also, a dog comes here to the States. His, his name was, it was also a good looking dog. He comes also out of the CC. This was this Mackie Glam. Mackie, 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 yeah. That was it. That was it. That's pretty good. 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 Here? No? Oh. You know, I picked the, his father, this, this thick sheep and fowl, and I picked this dog for the hips. And this dog. In the beginning, you know, in the beginning with the SV started the, the hip program, we have big problems, you know. And I picked this dog, and he gives him my can excellent hips. Fixed? Fixed. But, you know, this is, this is the problem in the breed, you know, when the father carries super hips, maybe the son carries bad hips. <laughs> You know, this is just the same way. This never works like when you have the Grand Victor from the States and the Grand Victor X and they put the two together, then you have a Super Grand Victor. Never, never. <laughs> this is the easiest way, you know. The same is, this is the same in hips. No. No. Of course, of 
for the breed, we need more bitches than males. <laughs> Much more. Last year, for me, our bitch class was more uniform than the males. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Look, to growing up a bitch to a high position is more easy than a male. You know why? The, the power, the pressure on a male bitch is not so high like on a male. You know, when you go to the show and your bitch wins, say, oh, that's a nice looking bitch. When you go with your mate to the show, the dog wins, you say, oh, you have seen that the front leg was a little bit so. <laughs> That's true, you know, it's true, uh, when he, he when sometimes he took the ear a little bit, so he says, you have seen with this guy cross, yeah. does he put yeah. the ear by <laughs> You know, for a bitch, nobody takes care so much, you know, so it's more easy to go, uh, growing up a super bitch, you know, you have, you have not so much enemy around, you know, when you have a male, a super male, you have no friends, only enemies around. around <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know, when I started my breed, so I have only friends, only friends. Oh, they were sitting in my house, they drink my beer, my wine, and smoke my cigarettes, and they never go home. And one day I started to win, and that comes later on only you know, five, then goes down to two, and then one day, <laughs> one day I went alone, and my, my wife said, tell me, you have a fight in the club home? So what is going on here? We have no visitors anymore. I say, <laughs> I win. Um, you know. Don't you get the, the hangers on then? Mm? The people that really aren't your friends that are just hanging around? Ah, yes, when you are, look, when, you, when you're coming up, there's somebody, there are many people hanging around you. In the moment when you go in the cellar, there's nobody to take you out. Okay. And I find out I have no dog friends, I have only one or two, maybe. And my friends, they are not involved with dogs. And this is the best way. Mm. <laughs> the best way. Uh, what do you think will happen with Dingo von Halskiero, last year's speaker? Will he be producing well? The dog, for me, Dingo, he brings this year to the Seeger show, maybe 50 in the progeny group. Very large progeny group he brings in, the dog. I have seen one super son of him. Well, I like very much. There's one. What? I like that. What's his name? Oh, I don't know the first name, is from the Restraut kennel. The father is Dingo, and the mother is an Armenian speech. Restraut had many selections at last year's uh, Seeger show. His no, no, he has only one, a beach. <laughs> yeah, the Seeger in his stock, he dies now. He's kaput. The last year, we know. Yeah. Ah, we heißt das in Deutsch, in English. Na, die letzte Siegerin, die hat eine Gebärmutterentzündung. Und der hat da nicht aufgepasst, ist er kaputt gegangen. She was out of here. She was a beautiful bitch. Oh, she goes without leaves, hours for hours. Always the leaf was hanging down, just five feet in front of him for hours, always. Good looking bitch. What about Volker? Oh, he, he gave not much in the breed. Volker, he gave not much in the breed. No. Volker. He was here in the States for a while. Nothing. Only one son. Axel. But Axel. Wasn't, wasn't Nathan the father of Axel? No, 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 no. Lots of all the souls. Oh, actually, he gave some good dogs. Yeah. But he was not so long in Germany, only one year. He's now also in Japan.
No, in Taiwan. Taiwan. Thank you. He's still full. Why are, why is there hardly ever a sable <coughs> vehicle? Is this just because of the taste? No, 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 no. We have no sables in the movement. We have no sable. I told you yesterday, I know two very good looking dogs. One failed the breed survey, <laughs> and the other one. Wait and see. That's a good looking dog, the other one I have seen so far, but he's a little bit loose in the back. Good looking dog. But there's no problem in Germany, the sable dog. Well, we all right. We put him in the select class. The sable dogs are needed for color, aren't they? Yes, but this is also such a dream, you know, to say, yeah, we need this sable for the color. I don't know if it's true, so. Or not. No, every show. Every show. Doesn't it get boring a little bit? No. I mean, I'm sure the good judge would, would be able to see which of the good ones and so forth rather well, quickly. Of course, I can do this in 10 minutes. But uh, we have also people watching, so we yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. In Germany, the dog have to walk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you know, in the moment in Germany, when I'm judging, we have so many we rated dogs, we, and on all these shows, our entrance with the people entering the show is now going down. You know why? Before, maybe 10 years ago, we have big entrance. So many people show the dog for just for fun. But in the moment, you know, when somebody has a good dog, you bring him to the show in spring. So he gets only very good. So he tries again, again very good. So he's never coming back, you know. So only the people comes back who have we rated dogs. So now when, when I'm judging, I have 25 dogs in the adult class. So I must give 22 excellent, you know. And this is the same on the Sega show, you know. Last year we have 204 dogs in the ring. But these 204 dogs was all we rated. So the judge, they have to give maybe 100, 150 excellent. You know, this, in the moment we have so so high level, but we have not so many super dogs. You know, maybe this this uh, dingo is good looking dog, and the dog he runs like the wind. You know, and out of if he runs, and this Telcros and son, the second and this uh, Mönchberg dog, they are excellent looking dogs. But we must see what they give. From Dingo we know, from Tell, he's now only three years old, so the oldest son of him is only around one year. I have seen some good ones of him. And this Menschberg, we have to wait and see. And, you know, they are, last year they are all young dogs, so we have to improve the other two years. You know, and when the dog is a good sire, you cannot see, say before the dog is five years old. You know, yeah, it takes time. And this, I think my brother, he never put the dog in first place on Seager, who has no, nothing behind him, you know. And a Seager me two years, for me, the dog is still too young. First you have to improve him, you know, you put him on select seven or the eight, next year you give him four or five, 
and when he comes the third time he has 25 dogs behind him okay run for the sea yeah. the same was with dingo he comes first year come to the sea he get no select he get rewind so next year he goes in and last year I get the Sega and he has maybe 45 dogs behind him you know maybe he runs for the Sega again this year maybe I don't, I'm not sure males or the females no the male have to be uh, two years old yeah just the rule from this way yeah maybe they say the dog is now a little bit more man and has all this uh, shoots on the improvement and breeds away and so on 20 months yeah you know a female is finished up quicker you know a female is quicker finished and developed and like a male Yes, Aiden Hall. Yeah, you speak off the highway of facts. What are the best friends? Facts? What are the best friends? No, facts. He has a beautiful son in Germany. One is outstanding, good looking. First? Son. No, this is a fax son. This is no. a ear grandson. Oh. I like this dog very much. He has beautiful hair. And Oh, outstanding movement, you know. I know now five or six, but one now is gone to Denmark, Denmark. One is gone now. And very good picture. Very good picture. I now I'm looking for me that I can take two or three of these fox daughters, you know, to lease for liver. Now I have one breed. Uh, and Peter, and Peter I have one fox daughter bred um, with this Quando Arminius. Quando Arminius? Yeah. And the other fox daughter, I bred two fox daughters with Quando Arminius. Have you ever taken a sire dog that you really saw something in and taken three or four bitches, boom, 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 to it, one after the other? Yeah. I have to see. Yeah, but our dog, the boom, kept on the other way. When he likes a ma male so much, he brings 25 bitches to him. <laughs> so, you know, it was easy to get one or two good. <laughs> yeah. But the, when, I like to say once more, when you are a breeder, you know, and you have maybe four bitches in your kennel and one super male, Many breeders that, that do one big mistake, in my opinion. They breed all his bitches to his own male. And I guarantee you, the kennel goes. You have to look over the fence. And you have not to breed all your bitches with your own stud dog. You know, maybe in the States here, they have done uh, this wrong. You know, I know many years ago when they bring in here a super male from Germany and he has 25 bitches in the kennel, so he breeds all these 25 pitches with this German male maybe on the end the result was absolutely nothing you know when you are a breeder you have to look over the fence and you have to look also to other dogs you know not only in kennel blind yeah so you know, some other people they have also nice dogs you are not alone you know and i was always looking you know a little bit over the fence i not breed always with my dogs you know if I am a breeder and I have dogs with very nice temperament, very strong temperament, and I want to get a very pretty type of dog, is that possible or do I need to get rid of my bitches with no type and buy a pretty type and then work that direction? Yeah. We say in Germany, this I figure out, you know, in breeding, when you breed, always good temperament together, you know good temperament together three times your dog gets so strong temperament you know that they never like to go you know 
you, uh, you train him, yeah, training is no problem. But when you go to the show, you go in the ring, he goes two rounds, then he knows everything and he never goes one meter. You know, yes, that's true. It's true. And I have, so when I first I put this, the types together, you know, and when they're very strong in temperament, then I look for a crazy dog. You know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, yes, sometimes they have to bring in a crazy dog. Who is a little bit, a little bit, you know, with it. The, the, the way with the dog walks, when he's falling on this side, he's shy. When he's falling on, the, he's falling on the other side, so he's a little bit crazy. You know why? This dog brings you the power back. You know, I bred, I don't know, the, I forgot the name. I bred with a Mago grandson, with a Kando daughter. This dog was an outstanding hard dog. I have puppies. Very good and excellent in, in Schutzum. I have a dog, how his name was Yael Wienau. I, when I bring him to the show, the judge called me the first place. On the end, always I was on, on number seven, on num number eight. The dog has made 15 months Schutzum too. You know, but on the show, I can ru not run in front of the dog with the arm, you know. <laughs> when, I, when he see the arm, then it was perfect. <laughs> but on the show, it's not allowed to take the arm and run around. <laughs> so, so I sold the dog, you know, so, I say. So, he runs for two laps. Yes, two, and then and was then, finished, and then he looks, he knows everybody, he knows the judge, and when I stay outside, say, hey, I'll. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I sold the dog to Italy. And the dog producing very well in Italy. And then the dog comes back from Italy, a son of him. His name was, uh, what was the name? Mm. I don't know, I forgot the name. And the son was absolutely the same. Beautiful looking, beautiful in stay, excellent in shots. Oh, the dog bites and out and barks, perfect. Nice, nice looking dog. Sega show, my brother called the dog select group, and the end he was on Wii 35. You know, now I have a daughter from him, yeah? From this Italian dog, I have a daughter. I, I show her on a London group show. First place, yeah, on the end I am the abnormal fight. This bitch is so beautiful looking, and she bites, everything is perfect. Now I have to look for one, you know, I have to look for one who is a little bit nuts here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this dog, he carries in a, the power and the pressure to go. I guarantee you, I, only I need is, when she has six puppies, I find the two puppies will look like the mother and have the temperament from the father. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> Absolutely correct. And in Germany now you need such a dog, you know why? We have before we when we go to the Siegerschau we went on these racetrack fields, you know, and so there was maybe five, six line people, but you have also sometimes a chance to go on the same. You know, now on the soccer stadium, to have this fence round, you have, you must have a dog who go alone. Beg your pardon? Double handling, yeah, okay, it's allowed to do double handling, but go, you know a soccer stadium, so 85,000 people goes in, they have this high fence round, and the people stay, sit close, you have not a chance. And the dog is from here, so far, maybe more. Then you, you stay and calling and listen, there is no. And in the other class, the same, you know, there are so many people watching, you know, we have last year, we sell the 29,500 tickets. So in the morning, Sunday morning, all the young dogs started early, they have to finish up before 11, so all these people stay around these young dogs. We have a male, they look more for the males than for the females. When you have a female, okay, it's a little bit better, there are not so, so many people. 
And then in the big ring, in the stadium, no chance. Yeah, you can hang on the fence. <laughs> but, but at least you have all the stars that can be in there with us. See, we have, there's always somebody there here that managed to do something with a in the breed, in the breed, we don't have a, a band, a dominated band here back so on. Uh, there is some in the Schutzhund, you know, some in the Schutzhund uh, from band. I think they do very well. For me, this band was two numbers better than Bodo in yeah. carriage and oh. hardness. Bosa Malinhoff was in the, the house of Schubert. Yeah. Did he produce anything? Oh yeah, some. Some good. Yeah. But this dog was the same. He was a good looking dog. But on the Seeger show, he ended up far back on the line, you know, after <laughs> ten rounds. <laughs> he put the head out and was finished. And he wins many. This in Germany the problem. You, you, you go with your dog ten, ten times a year and you win ten times. You know, on the normal shows. On the Sieger show you empty up on place 45. You know why? You have not a chance on the normal show, you know, so you run outside so the dog have always a chance to see you, you know. On the Sieger show, different. This is why some dogs, you know, they say, my God, this dog wins now over the whole year, now he's so far back on the line. In Germany, on the Sea show, now you have, you must have a dog who goes alone. Absolutely, you have to go alone and the ears up. There's no help around. What about uh, Mike from Bogolo? Oh, I don't know this dog. He was the father of Eros Musagosha. Uh, uh, yeah, I know the dog. Yeah. He was also this Axel Musagosha. Yeah. Yeah. He was a dark dog, a very dark dog. But this is long here. Been working dog long. Yeah. How long the go back? 20 years. Yeah. But this Eros was not a bad dog. He carries two temperament, you know. A little bit there. Uh, what's the name? Ordinary in English. Ordinary. Ordinary uh, dog. So, so head. Yeah. Very yeah. ordinary head. What is the best fish that you remember in, in producing and in looks and everything? What is the best fish? The best fish was Flora Königsburg. Flora Königsburg? What year was that? She died last year. This bitch producing in my kennel 35 top dogs. In my kennel. And she's also the mother from Retza House Beck. What is her pedigree? She's a country daughter. Who is her mother? The mother was Vilma. Vilma Kisuslu. What bloodline is that? This Faletten Sektor Schloss. Goes back Fallet, Anna House Gersi. She is. And the mother line was, you remember Lido Friedrichenhain, who was two times Sieger in Germany, the mother line. And she has produced well with, with all the dogs that you've used with her? This bitch, one leader, six puppies, five top dogs. This, always. Do you find that, do you find that always the dogs who, who look good and are themselves very, very fine dogs, do you find that those dogs are the producers or do you find that often the dog who doesn't have all those things is the producer? So is this Flora a great looking bitch or is she just... This Flora, I don't know how many times she went, we won maybe 15 times. She was an outstanding good looking bitch. The mother was also a good looking bitch. Are you, are your good bitches, all, are your good producing bitches always good looking dogs? Oh yes. You know why? A male, he cannot carry alone everything. You need also good bitches, and the good dogs always come from good mothers. You know. So if I have an ugly bitch, I, I don't have much chance to produce. You know why? Sixty percent, in my opinion, the mother carries the temperament. 
Yeah. And also she have to carry her jeans. And when you have a beach who is not good looking. I don't know the result. The male cannot do everything alone. And when is the best sign in the world? You have you have to have a good beach. Have you had any uh, dogs that produce weak ears for you? Well, it moots a little bit. What do you do in the bush? Out the door? Uh, I have no chance with such a dog with weak ears. Yeah. Nothing. No. You know, every breeder is a little bit a freak here. You know. And when I was on the highest position, then I was think, then I think by myself, now I carry a new bloodline. <laughs> you know, out goes bloodline without being out go. You know. And I bred six liters. And this was the first time in my life I taped their ears. And I get problems, teeth problems, long so long muscles. Front so black and white color, so I give it up, and I say by myself, I have carried the Vena bloodline. For what I have to carry a new bloodline, you know, this is not for me. This is for somebody else. And now we have an, a new famous kennel in Germany. This is the Strinsbach Tal kennel, you know. But these dogs, his dogs, they are always coming from all their from Kondo and Kondos, all. And now he say to me, Walter. Now I build up a pedigree, you know, with only Trinsbachtal dogs. I say, okay, perfect. Go home and try. <laughs> I guarantee you, when he has the, the Trinsbachtal pedigree, when this full of Trinsbachtal dogs, no strange dog, the kennel is <laughs> kaput. <laughs> What's his man's name? Oh, this man name, oh, this was. She come out of uh, of Quando, of a Quando son. His main name was a, a daughter from a dog. The first breeding from Quando comes out a dog who looks like Quando. And that dog was a small dog, not big, but very masculine dog, you know, good, strong temperament dog. And he has a, a bitch was very big and not so good looking. Yeah, yeah, from this bitch a daughter. She was a little bit better looking and he bred this male. And I uh, get two, two, three good bitches. And one my brother gives select and the next then he goes back again to the quando line. And this daughter was Ude Transportal was for me the best cigarette we have so far in Germany. Oh, this one. A bitch. The, the mother was inbred on Kwondo and the father was this, this uh, Hero Lawaho. But the bitch has not a hair from Hero. Not a hair. It looks exactly like the mother line. And this bitch was two times winning in Germany. She's now in uh, Taipei. And the daughter from her. Became, became seagulling again. So that, that bitch then uh, goes back, Uta goes back to your born mother, which you born mother, yeah. which, is, which is a dog that you have used before. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. With yeah. This you pick a good, good dog. Long. Right? A little bit stretched, yeah. And the, and the, the no, no problem. The no problem. Not, not by me. No problem. Maybe by somebody. I have no problem with him. So, oh, now it is the lady. When, when do you expect a large bone animal? Back, I have, I brought in this Yalfo in Brun. This dog is a little bit, not so long ears, but very big ears. The puppy put up there in nine weeks, and I have, yeah, I have no problem with this condo line, no problem with Kondo. In the morning, in the moment I put Mutz in, 
And the best, when you see that the dog is four or five months old, and the ears is like so, excellent, you must tape direct. You know why? The bloodstream stopped here. No? And when you tape, then the bloodstream will go to the end. And this helps a little bit. I the Volker. Yeah, yeah, Volker. I don't know. I never prayed on him. Kanto, Kanto Armenian. Yeah, short leather. Ears. Yeah, yeah. This comes out. No, 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 no. This comes out of Wondovina. Wondovina from India. Yeah, a little bit too short. Short. Yeah, a little bit short. And sometimes he gives his short ears. You know, this Moots, he was a super looking dog, but he has very thin ears, you know, and the dog has, you know, he carries a little bit. This comes not from him, this comes from his mother line, you know. How, how hard is it to, if you have a line that's carrying the bad ears, how hard is it to get rid of that? It's better you go out from this line. You know why? Ears and eyes. Yeah, on a shepherd, everybody sees. Yeah. You know, I tell you a fine story. Many years ago, I, ha I keep my dogs, I have two kennels home in the backyard. And I bought a bitch and from a very famous dog in Germany, it was Johnny Riedkeller, and it was a two-time select dog, and the dog has a little bit yellow eyes. And this bitch has also yellow eyes. So I keep this bitch in the backyard in the kennel. And next to our house was a family, they have a, a young girl. This girl was, is correct in English, a Mongolid. Yeah. yeah, she was, a, you know. And you know, a Mongolid, he, his brain, he stopped mid six years, he goes not, always is like six years old, his brain. And this girl, Sometimes she came to me and then she liked to look the dog, so she stayed inside the house, opened the window and watched the dog in the kennel. And there was this yellow eyed bitch in my kennel. And she came back to me and she said, Oh Walter, you have a dog in the kennel that looks like so. You know? Mm. Across the eyes. But she has not seen that this was a light eye. And then I was thinking by myself, look, when such a young girl was Destroyed in the brain. See that this this pick this one point, then everybody sees. So I sell the dog. It's the same as with ears. You know, when a shepherd have ears like so, you know, then maybe a family goes walk on the street, you know, and they see this dog is there. Maybe there's something not right on this dog. You know, this is very important. That this the eyes and the ears there. Okay, but when it's a little bit so, it's no problem, you know, or a little bit too straight, it's no problem. But when there's weak or so, there's something not right. How long does it take to get rid of it, to get it out of it? Oh. The problem is in the breed. Always, when you have a leader and the super puppies, you know, always they have these faults. This is the problem. This is why you, you have to breed, you know, with one leader, you, know, you have not a chance. When you breed one or two leaders a year, you have no chance. Yeah. No chance. You know why in Germany now this is so hard, you know. And you have to breed 10 leaders a year, thus you have a, a little bit of chance. Or you have a super producing pitch, but how many people have one? 
How many? How many? Maybe three, four. You know, I know some pictures when you put a, a, a dachshund on, she carries shepherd puppies. But <laughs> how many we have such pictures? And on the end, all these super dogs on the end, they come out from such pictures. On the end. Maybe she's the mother or the grandmother or the grand grandmother. Or on the father line, there is one super sire in the, in the line. I guarantee we get never in Germany. From the Margo line, the next super sire. I guarantee you we get never from the Mutz line the super sire. I guarantee. Or we get the super sire in the future, only over Kondo and Kondo. I so guarantee you. A dog, a dog whose, whose good qualities come from his mother. No, you cannot say so. I, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. No. A good dog comes always from a good combination, you know. But sometimes the mother is more dominated and sometimes the father is more dominated, you know. And sometimes they are 50-50. And sometimes, you know, you see, when you see some dog and you know the bloodline, you say, oh, he looks like the father. Or, oh, he, oh, he looks like the mother. You know, or he looks like his grandfather. You know, this is the most important thing in the breed. That's when the people watch your talk and say, ah, he's coming out from this bloodline. You know? That's why I, in my kennel I have five dogs like him. You know? And two, three months ago I have a, a Pitz Ayacho son. Yeah? He was black and white on the, on the leg and white in the inside. Super looking. Yeah, the, the whole dog was black, black eyes, all this with it. The saddle was black, but he was white bones, you know, but when I say white, light, light color bones and light color in the inside. So now in my kennel I have five dogs like this, Pepsi. <laughs> and this dog, he was, I don't know, he was like, he was black, looking again to the other five. I say to my wife, I sell the dog. I say, why you sell the dog? He's a super looking dog. I say, look, I have five here. This dog is so strange to my other dogs, I have to sell him. I say, no, keep him. I say, no, I sell him. I sold the dog. You know why? When some visitor come into my kennel, you know, and I have five super dogs, when they left my kennel, they go home and say, have you seen what you have in the kennel <laughs> on the right side? It's a good word, like silver. 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 Yeah. <laughs> when somebody calls me and says, you have a black and silver, I say, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. How long do you think, do you think I have enough time left to, to get a hard dog to bring to a, my dog to a hard bitch? I like to, to get a combination of uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you ask, you ask this question. You know, I'm judging all over the world. And you know, uh, in England, before they have also a, this uh, the type like they have in the United States, you know, these overloaded dogs, you know, big, strong bones, big head, you know. And in England now, they have changed complete the breed. But... Uh, they have, they have now many dogs from Germany, so the influence, German influence is very hard in England now. You know why the Engli English people there, really good dog people in all kinds of breeding, dog breedings, you know, many, many breeds come from England, you know, everybody knows. And they know what is a dog, what is a good looking dog. 
and also many dogs uh, England is a high selling country in dogs that sell dogs all over the world all kinds and the English breed that I find out does they have never changed then Singapore and all these countries you know before our English colonies and so that changed but they bring German males in and breed these German males on English uh, bitches the result is excellent I have seen some uh, of this uh, stock in, in Australia and also the other way you know German females with English males do very well and I guarantee you with your dog when you bring a German bitch in a normal good looking German bitch with good Schutzhund degree I guarantee you you get super puppies I guarantee you you know why <laughs> you know why I tell you why everybody knows here Annie Loeb yeah. Yeah. and Annie Loeb he's long long time involved in dogs and Annie Loeb he has a good brain and he knows dogs you know he see the, he look all, over the shoulder he know what kind of dog it is and he told me 25 years ago he said Walter remember a bitch produced or male will produce always they must have just a little bit too much you know when I figure out all my bitches they're producing very good they have a chest a little bit too much when I remember this Dixie V now here in the States she was in two months champion you know this bitch was have a little bit too much for an under chest she has a little bit too strong bones she was a little bit too long she has a little bit too long group and she was a little bit too much over ungulated she was a little bit loose in the head, she has a little bit too much hair. I have only to find out the right dog for her and this Jalk Vollenbrunn, he was so firm and dry like this table here. He was a compact dog, everything on the dog was muscle. The dog, the whole dog was one muscle. And this dog I bred on and the result was outstanding. Why you, why this not works here? This works here the same. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. How, oh, let, let me ask you how you would structure it. That it would begin with a very, very wide outcross. So the initial... There's no outcross. Maybe Mit Hermel is not outcross. He has a German background. He comes out of, of, of Axel Dining House. Hi, how, many, how many generations? Ah, this is six, six, six. Yeah, but... It's not a it, close breed. No, no, but it's the genes. It's, the genes is in the dog, you know. We can expect... Can expect in the first letters not very not uniform. Right? No, no, one or two comes out uh, absolutely uniform. Absolutely. Well, the dog has no uh, individual potential. When the dog has individual potential, he carries his own type. Look, look, in the breed, the line breeding is only one part. Is not the dominated part. You know why? We have in Germany many dogs that have good brother. You know, for example, this Agus Klemmle and this Aslan Klemmle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Aslan Klemmle was 64 cent, 63 and a half centimeter. Big head, compact dog. You know, good hair. You know, a little bit flat group. You know, good looking dog. His brother Argus was a bigger dog, a little bit longer, you know, the same head, yeah, but not so long coat, a little bit shorter in coat. This Aslan, he produces his type, and Argus he produces his own type. You have seen direct, this is an Aslan daughter, and this is an Argus daughter, and this is an Argus son, and this is an Aslan son. They are two brothers. So, all this, see, I only yesterday you must watch the families I always watching people when I sit in a restaurant and a family comes in have two childs or three then I look I look which one is dominated in the breed 
<laughs> yes. Well, I might get some March. <laughs> yes, just the same in dogs. Yes, you only you must look the kids, you know, you see that oh, the, I'm looking at the father and most of the time the, the girls look a little bit like the father and the boys look a little bit like the mother. That's how I figure out, you know. Yeah, this you know, these dogs carry most of the time they carry not the flat line. They carry by himself. You know. That's why we say this is the Axel son and this is this son, you know. And, but the people never say that this dog comes from this and this mother. Always they come from the father. And also the bad things. Most <laughs> when they have bad things always comes from the mother. When they have good things always so comes from the <laughs> yeah. Lay down. Yeah. yeah, then she must... So for me, for, back to your mail. When I have your mail. So, and I like to put a German bitch on. Number one, you have to look for a bitch with the same type like him. The same color, the same type. Yeah? So, then you keep the best puppies. First, okay, you keep all in the kennel, then you select in six months and so on. Then when you have a bitch, well, then with this bitch you have to go to the same type. For me, is type much more important than the bloodline or the inbreed. When it's also not the same bloodline, so it's better. But the type, type is very, very important in the breed. You know, for example, when you have a German beer, an American beer, an English beer, when you put these beers together, they look the same. But in the moment we coke in, changed. The same is in dogs. You know, first you have to carry the type, what you want. That's why I say yesterday, my, when I breed dogs, I have to breed the Wienau dogs. I have not to breed the Armenius dogs for my brother, or the Pusikashlos, that's not my job. They have to breed their own dogs. And when my dogs, the type, maybe the people like a little better, and the touch like a little better, they win. When my type is not okay, I have to change. You know why? Order, I go in the morning in the kennel, I say, now today, I give you select, in the kennel, <laughs> I move away. But when I have to go to the show, I have also to listening what the judge is like. You know, and I have to take care and I have to breathe a little bit. This was the problem in the German in a couple of years ago. That the German by himself, they don't like sable dogs. You know, so when I have in the sable male, a super male, nobody come. Nobody reads them. Now we have in Germany a, a dog. He's I don't know his name from, from Wasserrad Kennel. He's a sable dog. He's a Nick Wienau son. This dog, for me, is a good-looking dog, not a super-looking dog. He's a sable dog. But this dog is full booked over the year. You know, he's a Nick son. He's, he, the mother is Flora, so he's from the high bloodline. But this high bloodline, you know, normally they say they carry bad temperament. But this dog, he's, he owns... The owner is the obedience judge, and he went, he went on our longest group, uh, Schutzhund, and he was the number three. And he produced, he have 60 stud service a year with the dog. And Nick been a son and a Flora Konigsburg. Yeah, Nick was a Flora son. You know, and the, the mother line from the dog is always Schutzhund, you know, Schutzhund line. I don't know exactly something. Yeah, it's out. Okay. I have uh, two questions. First of all, 
with it because the ray that the dog may not perform very well in a crystal fire and that's how you get a bad name and it's kaput all the work is out. Uh, or is it because they don't have enough time or what? The first is right. Yeah. Yes, but you know everybody say the best you have is a super schutzhund dog and a super conformation dog. Look, you know this Miss, this Miss America, you know, you think she stay the whole day in the kitchen and clean the house? <laughs> no, of course not. The same is, you know, the same is with the dog. Or this high actor, you know, they have servants, you know, they have only to take care on the body and that go to the beauty, you know, and the same is in dogs, you know. Is there anybody that is crazy enough to, to do both? No, 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 no. We, you, everybody tries to do this way, but this works not. So if in Germany it was not a requirement that the dog has to get a good one before they can be treated to a trade that could be two or three or the left the whole time, you think then No, this is not like here. You know that. Yeah, yeah. The Germans. You must know when the foundation, the dog. This is in the German. You know the German that they have to go to the training field. You know that this is in this mind. You know, look. When I my dog, maybe I have a good-looking dog, so. I train him or I give him to a trainer. So when the dog comes back, and the dog is high, good conformation dog. So I go twice a week or sometimes one a week or when I'm not home, so three weeks he stays in the kennel for shoot zones. And I do a little bit obedience, you know, and I have to learn him also to run together with me out of leash, you know, for the show. And he have to look to me and I have to do something that he looks up to me. You know, we have to do something, but I, the most problem is not the track or the obedience, the problem is jumping. the jumping, you know. You have seen picture, you must see sort of motion picture when the dog comes down. The shoulder from the dog mm. goes so high up, mm. and when to, you do this many times, you know, your shoulder, the dog gets loose, and then you come to the show, you know. <laughs> And then say, okay, go up and down, say loose shoulders, or the place to 15 place back. You know, then you say to the judge, I'm sorry, I train him very hard for, for shoots, and you say, are today here? Yes. You know, I know that we have never changed our rules against the shoots, never. Never in our life. Our shoots program must be, maybe we must put a little bit more harder. You know why? In the moment, you know. Ah, ah, ich kann das nicht in Englisch sagen. Die Zucht ist nicht tot. Nicht die. Zum Beispiel, äh, wenn man ein Zuchtprogramm macht, ein Verein macht ein Zuchtprogramm, dann ist das nicht stur für immer, sondern das ist variabel. Nicht? Die, man sagt in Deutsch. Die Zuchtlenkungen und Maßnahmen werden immer so getroffen, dass sie der Rasse dienlich sind. Zuchtlenkungen und Maßnahmen werden immer so getroffen, dass sie der Rasse dienlich sind. They always put the working ability at the, at the end. That it varies and changes in the Schutzhund program, training program, but it's always going to be dienstlich, uh, that they can be working, usable, practical. No, That's maybe I can. This is not correct translation. Uh, maybe, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can say a little bit the other way. Look, we have a breed program and we have a Schutzung program, all right? So many years ago, our Schutzung program was so. You have to go to the training field with a beach, or male, shoots on one, breed survey, seeker show, select. You know? Then there was no important of the dog have white papers or red papers. You know? That particular round in the 50s, 60s. 
Then the we say, all right, now our breed comes up to a high level. We have to select a little bit more. Then they say now, okay, for the select group, only great papers. Yeah? So this is why I like to say this is the breed and the Schutzung. Always we have to walk together. Yeah. No, and that's why I mean, you know, what the, the breed is not uh, the, the rule. Now we have a rule we never changed. This was a rule changing. So now, this year, now we have a new rule on our breed survey. In the new form, we have mark, we have to mark the dog go out from the arm or don't go out from the arm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Now this is beginning this year. So, so now there is a difference between the dog who comes yeah. like that and the dog who goes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the next. Now you have to go back again to the training field. You have to train your dog. But it, this is not important for the selection for the breed class number one or two. You know, it's not. No, no. Not only but the dog have to do two times. You know, not when he do only one time, not, none, two times. But it's no important for his breed server, one or two. You know, may, maybe a dog who is not so good looking, he bites and say, out, he sat down and bark, he gets automatically care class one. You know, that's not, not. Only, you know why, now the people have to go more to the planning field. And, and also, if, if the SD makes one category of dogs different. Yeah. Another category of dogs. Yeah. All the men with the bitches run to these dogs. Maybe, maybe none. Horrible, yeah. I tell you my opinion. You know, when e it's easy to train a dog who is not so hard by that, get out. You know why? What? Before, well, we don't have this. When the dog runs by the carriage, there's long distance, he bites. And then he opened the mouth, he runs home. Yeah? But now, when I have such a dog in my kennel, you know what I do? When I'm training, and he runs to the long distance, I run behind him. When I come close, I say, bam! And I guarantee you, when you do this ten times, and one day you stop, the dog let out and lay down. Or with the, the agitator, you know, in the moment when the dog likes to run away, you say, out! You know, that's how. The, uh, the, the new rule to distinguish the dogs who let out from the dogs that don't let out, which sorts of dogs is that meant to distinguish from? The dogs who had to be taught to bite and keep biting, or they were gone? Mm -hmm. From the dogs who, who... Now, before, you know when the dog bites, so, so we put this word on, maybe on the back side, excellent uh, mood comfort, yeah. But now we never doing. So this was a recommendation on, for this dog. Now we never doing. You know, he have to form in front, out or not out. So a dog now, he have, a, a dog who is not so hard biter has a chance now. He get, you know why he runs in like so, out, whoa, 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 whoa. You know? You know what I mean? Gives the weak, less hard dog a better chance. Yeah, a better rating. That's my opinion. This I don't know if it's this. Yes, but I, I know. Of course, of course, I know. But I have this rule here. Yes, I have the rule here. I cannot. Now it's not allowed for me. No, look, this is the new form. It's my class. Maybe. Maybe. I can I, I can train such a dog who is not good in temperament, you know, because he stay in bark. 
takes only a little bit more time. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit more time. But, you know, I, I'm not the delegate here from the SV. I can only tell you my, uh, my private opinion. You know, look here. Yes, it. Yeah. This I have to mark up. Hund lässt ab, Hund lässt nicht ab. Okay, so... Herr de Bodenkamp ausgeprägt, Hund lässt ab, Hund lässt nicht ab. Okay, it says, it says pronounced, sufficient, category 3 is the dog lets out, and category 4 is the dog does not let out. This new what, what does... I still am a little confused. What does... Would be vorhanden und the dog lets out. Yeah, okay, when he do, I give him a forehand and list up. What does the SB think this will show? I'm a confirmation. Do you have to talk to Glück? This is for Glück? No, this is now for me. But I, this is, I, I, this is a rule new now from the SB. Free survey. Free survey. No, when a dog bites. No, uh, I give him su sufficient, but I, I also put on list up. I put also on, we uh, have this in English, list up. Let's out. Let's out. out. Yeah. Then the people say, when they say, look this, they say, oh, let's see, maybe, you know, that price so hard on the dog, so he let quick up. Uh, in Chicago was a dog, a sable dog. You know, the agitator comes out, he runs, boom, to stop. So quick, you know, the agitator stepped only once and he hit him a little bit, boom, and on the long distance was the same. He came like a tiger, boom, boom. And so I say to the agitator again, you know why? I like to see if the dog is okay or not. But some breeds, so why I know, who are not so involved in breeding dogs, you know, they say nothing. So they say, oh, the dog was good. Mm -hmm. But for me, this dog was not hard. Okay. Yeah, for me, the dog was not hard. I like a dog, you know, he comes right through and, you know, the educator have to feel here in the arm, just the dog bites, you know. But some dogs that go, you know, just, just the problem, you know. By training, you can do anything. When you train and train and train, or more, maybe one year, the dog learns everything, you know. For me, I like to see everything a little bit more natural, you know, not so much rules. You know, but I'm not on a, on a board, I'm absolutely... <coughs> See, now then you... Oh, I, I First I'm American, then the German. improved and see. You know, I know now what they want. You know, they want now, I know exactly what they want. They want now, this is only the beginning, yeah. This is the beginning. They want now, that we go to the Sega and our dog have to... Shoot some three. <laughs> no, shoot some three, yes, there's no problem. But our dog, now we have to go to the Sega and our dog have to let out. You know, and when a dog don't let out, he get not so a high position. But the, in this moment, you know, then we need never a judge. Then the, the, the obedience judge over there, that judge to show, you know, not the judge inside the ring. You know, then they bring the form back and say, yeah, this dog, he don't let out. So you have to place him back 25 places. And this dog let out, so you have to place him forward, and this is not okay. 
you know. Mm. Yes, and Uh, yeah, but I like, we have, you know, in the SV we have 45 breeds over here. Yeah. So, some, for some is enough and there are only five so for, but for me is, yes, for me, I like to see a dog who he comes, boom, right through, you know, and he bites, and he, there's a little problem to open the mouth. This I like much better. Yeah. You know, this I like much better. You know, where I see a dog, he comes, bites, stop. You know. I think the reason for the for the change of the rules was there was much criticism about dogs that simply didn't want to let go. Yeah, maybe. And not necessarily being very strong dogs. Yes, maybe. Well, many of the dogs are are taught to bite yes. crazy so that they won't go back to their state. Yeah. Yes. I like a dog, you know, a little bit. He, when he comes in to the training field and the guy would go far away with the arm, he have to look, you know, and play with the tail. That's dog I like. Not to lay down, you know, and so and look on the side and say, okay, now we have to go. And then he goes and he, he yeah, and he do his job, you know. Uh, I have seen so many dogs, you know, that's why I say yesterday. And somebody rings me up and say, okay, we like to breed on your mail, but first I'd like to know how how is his cause. You know, then I have to tell him, okay, you like, you like to breed on points, then you have to go to my trainer. <laughs> you know, the dog, he never carries the points. He carries only the carriage we have here, you know. Our rule in Germany is say, over the whole year, 60 stud service, mm -hmm. not more. Mm -hmm. So, you have to split it out, 30 first half, 30 in the other half. So, this is easy, six months, 30 is only allowed five a month. So, when you, sometimes you have six or seven, then you have the next month only three. And you have absolutely in Germany the following this way. When your dog has maybe in the first half 32 pitches, you get direct a letter from this way. You have to pay for each 300 marks to this way. <laughs> yes, and in, in, in this 60 stud service, also included the pitches who have the first. Uh, they card, no puppies, they come back the second time. Mm -hmm. There's also in D6, so, you know, their repeat is included. And I, I have the last magazine, and this money, we say, have to give to the SV, they put on, on the list for the Bundesliga and for the Sieger show, you know, for trophies. And they, they, they don't put the name on the say in German. Ungenannt, I have seen one, 1,800 marks. Oh. There was one, and I guarantee you, this fellow with this dog, when he does one time more, they take direct the, the breeds away, away from the dog. And they, they publish a warning. Yeah. The yeah. They take direct, you know why? We don't like, because our breed goes only to one dog. So we like that we have more and more and more dogs in the breed. That's why we select this stuff, you know, only 60. 
Now, this is enough. You have 30,000 mark income is enough. But, but what, I, what I want to ask is, if, if you have three bitches that are not supposed to come together because they're heat by the Holocaust, yeah. how close can you bring one 12 hours apart to be safe? Or do you do that? Or do you do an artificial split to turn? <laughs> I, I, you can't answer. Yeah, I can answer, yes. I don't know the power from your dog. You oh, know? I, I think it's powerful. Yeah. You know, okay, uh, this is it's no problem. You, you can breed the dog in the morning and afternoon. It's no yeah. problem, but in Germany it's not allowed. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's, it's, yeah, but <laughs> I guarantee you, when you do this several, day, several days, maybe you do this, oh, the dog hurts. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I just, you know, sometimes it, it happens. And what, what I do is, there's only one thing I can do is tell the people, you did what earlier you did the place, and now you're going to have to yeah, 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 take what's yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Or, I don't accept this many, but it's yeah. when this happens, yes, 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 yes. maybe yeah. there is a bad fishing that yeah. ends it with an infection, and I say, I'm not going to breed Yes. I, no, I have breed start dog for many years. You know, <laughs> sometimes your dog has no start for, for maybe three weeks. Then come six pitches in one week. You know, you cannot tell the pitch, hey, you have to come two weeks before. Yeah. You know, and I have a fight once with Dr. Rommel, you know. You say, oh, that's not okay. You say, Dr. Rommel, <laughs> you are dog man. You must know this. Sometimes the dog has two, three weeks, no start feet. Then they have five, six pitches in, in between ten days. But okay, for a, young, for a young dog, for a dog, you know, we keep him in good shape and health, and we yeah. feed him good. This is not, not so big problems. But not, you know, not before that. Many people in Germany, you know, with the top dogs, you know, they stopped breeding with the dogs three weeks before the Seeger show. You know, that's for me stupid, you know. I have this quando, yes, on Saturday morning before the Sieger show, he has a start feed. The next yeah. day he was running like to the hell. Fair yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so after the show, you know, when somebody comes, say, okay, where you come from? Oh, I come far north. Okay, on Sunday I, I show my dog there, and after the show, yeah. we breed the bitch, you know. And then some people say, yeah, but the dog have to relax for one hour. Come on. My hand was get upset. I don't even tell them anymore. But yeah. The same is with us, you know, when we see a nice girl, you know, for what reason we have to relax for an hour. That's relaxation right there. <laughs> I would like to do something if I can. Bring in my little black and tan and stand her up and go over and point out faults, all that sort of thing, and show you the pedigree, and have you tell me, the male to take her to, reasons both for the pedigree and for structure. You can do that with a couple of dogs here. Okay. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. 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 If the people can take it, if, you know, some people can take it, uh, <laughs> I can let the bitch. When you have a VA dog, and you have a dog that is easy to go with, so you can breed it. Just as an example, how many people try to get these things to breed? Do you get hundreds and hundreds? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a, a very good question. Yes. You know, some breed in Germany, for me, in my opinion, they do wrong. You know why? When somebody... I do the same like by puppies, you know. When somebody, maybe, for example, they rings me up, say, Oh, Mr. Martin, it's possible to get on your dog as uh, start uh, in maybe in, in August or September. I say, okay, can you put me on a list? I say, no, no. Say, you ring me up the first day when your bitch come in season, when my dog is free, I guarantee you get this done. The same is in puppies, you know, many pup people rings me up. They say, Mr. Martin, it's possible to get a puppy. Uh, or you put me on a list? I say, no. Now, next month I have a litter. You ring me up when the, this time the, the puppies are six weeks old, then you ring me up. You know why? You get in trouble with the people, you know. When, when you put some on the list, you know, and then you have four puppies and you have three long coats. Mm -hmm. 
that's happening in the breed. Then he rings you up and says, yeah, but now you have ordered a puppy by me, you have to buy this long coat. You say, no. You know, the same is in stud service, by myself, why not? And maybe many people rings me up and, and say, right, first, I say, let me know the name from your bitch and the father and the mother, okay? And then you ring me up again when the bitch is the first day in season, yeah? So, the next day, other people rings up and goes, over the next day, other one, and then I say, okay, say so always the same to these three people, the father and the mother, and then I go back and I point it out and I think, okay, my, this bitch is maybe the best bitch. This one I say yes, and the other two, I'm sorry, you know our rules, we have only 60 stud service, we have to keep five a month, so. Yeah, so you have, what, you have, you have, because of the 60, and 60 is, is quite a bit. Yeah. 50, 52 is one, a bitch a week. Yes. So 60 is, you know, yeah. do you give two stud service or two one? By myself. You know, I, I go most of the time for one. You know why? I have a stud dog in my kennel. So I bring this dog to the male, to the female, and then I see now he's, he likes to jump on her. So I ring up and say, I come today. Mm -hmm. But some people, you know, they come two times. But, uh, but it helps nothing, you know, uh, when you do today and tomorrow. You have to wait two days in between 48 hours. Yeah. You know why? When you not, don't wait 48 hours, so that the, the, the eggs, they are not in the canal. So they're still down. But 48 hours is better. And you know also that a bitch can have from two males puppies? Yeah, well, that's, that's what they say. And, and that's why you're not supposed to breed to another one or yeah. watch this. Yes. I but can't. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm studying this right now because with my veterinarian, because there is a feeling that when a dog, when a bitch is bred, and the sperm has attached to the egg, that the other egg is supposed to die off. Yeah. But that's not proven yet. That's what, that's what contradicts the theory of that they could have. To yes. That, they're still in. Uh, 48 hours. I tell you once, I have a bitch by a trainer in November. Yeah, and in November in Germany gets night five o'clock this night. And this bitch was still in season, and I said to him, please take care of the bitch. You know, when you're on the training field, put her in the box or in the car before you go into the club home and have beer. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. You must tell me. And I say, all right. So I order start. We go with three people to this male, with my bitch. And we have started, and then I met my friend, Dr. Beck, in a restaurant, so we have to eat together, five people, and drink together. I pay the start fee, and I pay also the restaurant bill. So I go back home, the bitch, four puppies, three black, and one black and brown. I say, my God, this, this, Lida is inbreeding Kandori now in black. So the puppies growing up, they look well, well, very firm and dry, good looking black puppies. And in this plot line, that was far back on the line, was a Margot Busiga Schlossan. This dog was close to black. There's very little brown on the leg. And this dog carries sometimes black dogs. God, is this, this is only one dog so high influence, you know, on this splitter. So I sell very quick these three puppies, the, the black one, very quick. One month later, a man rings me up. He said, Mr. Martin, I have a puppy from you, a black one. There you are. As possible to come to you today, I'd like to show you the puppy. So he came. They open the car, the puppy comes out and says, this is a schnauzer. <laughs> say, this is a schnauzer. <laughs> he has some long hair. <laughs> 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 so, 
So, I take, I take the man. I brought him to my brother. So, I say to my brother, I go to the office, say, come out. I like to see you look on a dog. And my brother comes out, he looks the dog, oh, the tattoo or all, the paper was still by this way. My brother comes out and starts to laugh. <laughs> and the men get mad, you know, say, why you laugh? I have to pay money. Say, oh, but this is, this is my job. So my brother say, yeah, this is a schnauzer. Say, okay, now you go in, you ring direct our head office and you stop the paper. And I was, I was lucky, you know why? This paper was not on our breed book. In the moment, what they have this in the breed book, they have to publish in the mag SV magazine that this seal reader from the Wiener out is not correct. And they have to put out this, they have marked the names from the papillon, they have to carry out this from the breed, you know? So I ring up all these people and all that told me the same. And say, okay, now I give you all the money back. And also I give you money for to feed the dog and the shots. And I have to pay 4,700 German marks, you know? And I go to my trainer and I say, you goddamn son of a bitch. You, know? <laughs> you have not take care enough on the beach. He say, Absolutely nothing, you know. So, I say, there was a schnauzer on, you know, on this training field by night, you sit in the club home and the schnauzer break the pitch and run away. You say, no, 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 never. In springtime, I judge a show close to this training field. When I go there in the morning, Sunday morning, 7.30, and I come through to the training field, there was a, a highway. The training field was on the left side and the highway was on the right side. And in the moment I come through to this training field, a big black schnauzer was running over the street and runs behind the fence from the training field. And I say to my wife, now you know the father from our puppies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's very, very And I guarantee this, the three black puppy went from the schnauzer and the black and brown puppy was from the original father. <laughs> but tell me for what I have to hit him. His was his natural instinct. I have to hit the trainer. This is this